tie my shoe like old times? In old times, they buckled their shoes. Steady. Yeah. What? Hi. Hi. One shot. One kill. One what, Daddy? <laughs> Damn it, Junior! You just gave Santo the keys to the whole cartel! Entire villages will die. Innocent women will be forced to wear sombreros. And all because you couldn't give your dad some time alone. Buenos dias! Ese no bueno. Yeah, toddlers and tiaras. Five-year-old anorexics forced to get spray tans. Hey, I was watching whatever that was. <laughs> you're gonna break something. Now you broke something. I hope close enough. Hey, dough boy. I'm here for my dough. What are you talking about, Robert? I'm here for my alimony check, which I'll take in cash. Here you go, Robert. What? Why are we giving him alimony? We're not. I am. It was the only way I could get him to finalize the divorce. I never heard about this. Oh, that's because I never told you. Remember? Oh, yeah. 600, 700, 800. <laughs> Ex-husband. Best job I ever had. Well, second best. In this experiment, we will be testing the effects of mass amounts of high-quality marijuana on a man's ability to play video games while having sex. Science! Ah, give it. Ow! I got a booger with your wrist's name on it. Ah! Ah, right in the bridge. Oh, get in the watery eye. Water, not tears. Natural. <laughs> now that I'm flush, I'm gonna go see what that Chevron with the Techron's all about. No, no leave. Get your mitts off me, Romney. You wanna keep getting this monthly money, money, you gotta do something <laughs> for it. And you can start by taking your kids for the day. My kids? This is alimony, not child support. Oh, do I really get to go with you, Dad? Can I, Dad? Can I? Dad? 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 All right, fine. I'll take them. Terrific. Roberta, you and Rollo are going. With our dad, I heard. You always think you're talking quieter than you are. Wish you had mouth buds. See? I heard that, too. <laughs> ah, finally. I can hear myself think. I wonder how the Captain and Tanil met. I would hate to smell the inside of his hat. Hmm. Nice to have time for these thoughts. Dad, will you check the toilet for monsters? I have to go the sit kind. Daddy, please no! I don't want to go with Mr. Robber. He's felonious. Need Whatever time you're paying alone. I'm doubling. I'll miss You'll you. You'll be fine. Like if home. you don't like what you're doing, use your imagination. <laughs> All right, they're gone. That means we have the house all to ourselves. And the bedroom. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Oh, yes! Consumer Report says that toaster oven we got is the best in the price range! Hootie hoo! Now, all the dogs are blindfolded, so it's a fair fight. But if they start wilding out, we're gonna have to scram right quick. Junior, they'll come after you first, because they'll smell your salty meat sweat. But you're big, you can handle them. That genie was right. Salty meat. Oh, what a day. Watch Steve's Bayou, long nap. Watch Steve's Bayou again, another nap. Back to the bayou, ordered in, had them bring it upstairs to the bedroom, ate it, and here we are. Oh, be quiet. I'm trying to watch Eve's Bayou. Eve's Bayou's on. I thought it wasn't supposed to be on HBO Urban East until midnight. It's past midnight. So, the kids came home, right? Ah! No Rollo! No Junior! No Roberta! No clean towels! They're in the dryer! Who's gonna fold them now that Junior's gone? Ah, calm down. I'll just call Robert. All right, I'll get it. Hello? No, you listen to me, Drake. The CIA wants their microchip back there. They gotta dig it out of my brain themselves. Wait, why is my ear bleeding? Oh god, they're trying to take it! Squeaky, you've been compromised. You're putting us all in danger. I'm sorry, Squeaky. It's just the game. 
you gotta get before you get God. He's not picking up. Cleveland, how can you take a shower when the kids are missing? You know I shower when I'm scared. Oh, thank God. Robert, where the hell were you? Clowning around with these turkeys? <laughs> Boy, you crazy. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Are you okay, Junior? Oh, yeah. Mr. Robert took us to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> oh, man. Kid ate five sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> and remember how many chicken sandwiches I ate? Kid's a genius, too. He taught me a pattern for the Miss Pac-Man machine. Two-thirds. I, I ate two-thirds of a sandwich. Gave the rest to a bird. Now I call this kid Pac-Man. Because he's round and eats everything in sight. Oh, whoa, whoa. Where, where did that come from? Pac-Man's good people. Bad, Rollo. Well, Robert, since you and the Pac-Man hit it off so well, maybe you should take him more often. That way I could spend more time with my popsicle stick houses. Hmm? Don't worry. Me and the big guy will hang out again. See you, Pac-Man. Stay black, man! <laughs> <laughs> Later, Rollo. Oh, I'm about to start acting out hardcore. Relax, this is just temporary. Like lesbianism at women's colleges. So let me be the first to say you are all officially college graduates. We need to talk. Pretty little house. I want to put you by the seashore and grow old in you. Spend my days inside you making houses of even tinier materials, such as toothpicks. So then Dumbledore put on the invisibility cloak and entered the Deathly Hallows. Oh, man, that's crazy. So how do you know this dude again? Well, it looks like you two had fun. I'll say. Pac-Man here told me more is cold. All right, see you tomorrow. Dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, dash, dot, dash, dot, dash. Oh, you sick. You're taking him out again tomorrow? Yeah. I'm gonna give him some pointers on getting with that girl he likes. Elaine Boozler? No, you know, Joanna. From school? She's all the boy talks about. Huh. I don't remember him mentioning a Joanna to me. Or that he goes to school. I'm not surprised. Do you realize this chump's never even had to talk with Junior? You haven't? I'm going to do it when he becomes a man on his 18th birthday and is headed to university. Yeah, well, since you ain't man enough, I'm gonna give Junior the sex talk. Later, fool. I'm gonna give him the sex talk. You're not the expert just because you've had sex with four of the six women I've had sex with, plus a lot more. And I really wish I wasn't shouting this out the door in front of the neighbors and our lord. Amen! Sure is beautiful out here, isn't it, Junior? Talk. Waves tickling our toes, salt air filling our lungs, seashells are everywhere. Do you hear the ocean, Daddy? I want to talk to an octopus! Just a moment, Junior. Daddy's on the phone. Yep, mm-hmm, yeah. I'll let him know. Junior, the ocean says there's a girl at school you're sweet on. The ocean knows about Joanna? Mm-hmm. And I know you're becoming a man, and there's a few things you should know. Icebreaker did that. Shell phone bit. That worked. Becoming a man. Ah, uh, here we go. In nature, certain things are meant to fit together. Like a bird in its nest, or a hand in a glove, or a hot dog in a donut. So being a man means I can eat donut dogs? Perhaps I was less than clear. Let me skip ahead. When a woman truly loves a man, she lies down in bed next to him, takes his most special treasure, and cuts it. And that's why you have a belly button. And my card seemed to be out of order. <laughs> Well, you basically get it. Now, as for Joanna, try to initiate physical contact. Arrange to have a soda sprayed all over her shirt. Ask the albino kid. He's dying to be included in something. Then, just happen to walk by with a roll of paper towels. And that will work? If I know soda as well as I think I do, yeah. <laughs> It'll... Talk to me. How'd it go with Joanna? Now tell me everything. I asked her to the movies. She said no. What? Did you do the soda thing? Yeah, the albino kid missed his cue. Hmm. He's probably beating himself up worse than we ever could. You know what, Dad? Thanks for your help, but I think I'm just not ready for girls yet. Well, then why don't you and I go to the movies tonight? It'll be great. We'll sneak in some drinks, sneak in some popcorn. Heck, we could even take us a couple po' boys in there. What do you say, champ? I think I'm just gonna chill out in my room. That po po boy. Now all I can think about is eating a s s sandwich at the m m m m m m movies. 
You're not fooling anybody sneaking that food into the theater. Just keep moving. The soup's starting to burn. Hey, there's Robert. And there's Joanna. Robert's dating Joanna? Oh, Junior's gonna be devastated. And I can't imagine Joanna's father will be... Oh, no, there's Junior. Oh, that must have been awkward, riding between Robert and Joanna on the way to their creepy date. Cleveland, Junior's on the date with Joanna. But that doesn't make sense. Junior told me she said no. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Thanks for the gas money, Joanna. <laughs> See you... Are you ready to order? We're gonna need a minute. I can't believe Junior's calling Robert dad. I curried that boy for nine months. It was when he was 12. He was scared to touch the ground, convinced himself everything was hot lava. Maybe that's part of the problem, Cleveland. You baby him. Robert treats him like a man. Mm, used to treat me like a man, too. What does that mean? Bye-bye. Hey, Dad, let me cop a hit off that juice bag. I thought Robert was your dad. <laughs> that's right. I saw you at the theater. Why would you call Robert dad? Well, the thing is, and I'm sorry to have to get real like this, but he's cooler than you, Dad. C c cooler Yeah, I mean, your idea? That whole albino mess? I never stood a chance. But Robert, he knows what women want. Yep. Look, Dad, I'm not trying to replace you with Robert, and you best believe I'm still coming to you for things like taxes and the best laundry detergent. Whisk. Right. So you cool? Yeah, I'm cool. No, no, Dad. You're not cool. <laughs> this guy, he's sweet, but he no listen. Junior's right. cool, bro. Would I call you bro if you weren't cool? Probably would. I call everybody bro. Sup, bro? I don't know, Cleveland. I have to admit, when I imagine having a black friend in my mind, I was pictured more of an Isaac Hayes type. He is pretty cool. Maybe if I shave my head now, I got that hot dog roll back there. That wouldn't look good at all. Oh. Hey. I'm way cooler than Robert. If only there was some way to prove it. Cool Olympics. What? The Cool Olympics? A rigorous series of events judged by a panel of experts, experts to determine which contestant is cooler. I know what a damn Cool Olympics is, fool. Well, I challenge you to one of those. It's obviously the only way I can win back the love of my son. Please. Every four years, some nerd challenges me to a Cool Olympics. I ain't lost yet. I'm in. So you at the Cool Olympics, jump. Come on, Pac-Man. Waka, 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 waka. You're a cool Olympian against him? Listen, dummy, there's only one way you're gonna win this thing, and that's if I coach you. You want me to win? No, I want him to lose. My dad ditched me, just like Junior ditched you. Time to make him pay. Yeah, we're gonna make Stop him it. pay. Stop it! the problem right pay. here. This is not we're cool. Put me down. I don't like pay. this. Welcome, one and all, to the Cool Olympics. <laughs> Remember, we have absolutely no street permits for this event. So if the captains, Cleveland, Lou, Albano, Brown, and Robert. And now to judge this epic battle, we've gathered the three coolest men alive who agreed to be here because they were misled about the nature of this competition. From the LBC, Mr. Calvin Snoop Dogg Broadus. If you want to see my giraffe naked, go to SnoopDog.tv. I also got a tiger having sex with a pelican. Nice. Our next judge takes a lot of credit while gravity does the work. Please welcome the only professional skateboarder in the universe, Tony Hawk. <laughs> Even my board gets mad play. <laughs> He's so radical. Oh, and here's our final judge. All the way from Cloud City, Lando Calrissian. You no good low down cool Olympians. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm nice and cool. I've never heard of these judges. And Cleveland Brown has lost the first event recognizing cool people. Oh. We move on to attention. And go! Uh, excuse me, sir. Are, are you in line? Uh, if I could just scoop by. Uh, I, oh. Uh, hi. 
Uh, pardon, when you get a second, may I get an iced Earl Grey, please, with a cherry? Time! Let's see what the judges thought. Snoop? The guy getting ass always wins. You got that right, friend. Okay, our next event is looking cool in jeans. Gentlemen, show us what you got. <laughs> oh, he went acid washed. We got this one. What? Jean shorts? That's not what I picked out for you. Called an audible. When you got the legs, you show them off. Not bad. Now turn around and make it clap. Big pardon? Oh, no, that's a dude, man. I'm up out of here. See y'all, man. I'm gone. For our final event, and just for a little tension, let's say whoever wins this wins the whole thing. Who can get Michael Buble on the phone the fastest? Who the f is Michael Buble? Michael, is that you? It's Cleveland. I got it. I win. Trick event. Michael Buble ain't cool. Sorry, buddy. I had no choice. And by a score of 85 to nothing, Robert wins the Cool Olympics. Whatever, I don't care. 86 to nothing. Wait a minute. I have something to say. Wow, thought it would take a little more time to get your attention. Uh, okay. What I want to say is this. I did all this because I want my son to love me. And if that's not cool, then I don't want to be cool. Good, because you're not. Who said that? Me, but I'm speaking for everyone. Is that true? Yeah. All I wanted to do was make my dad jealous, and you're too lame to even help me do that. Jealous? Why? Because you ditched me for Cleveland Jr. Oh, come on, Rollo Jr. needs help. Look where he comes from. That's assault! I'm gonna sue you all! But you came from my groins. You were born cool. Hey, Junior, where's your little girlfriend? Tony Hawk said he was going to show her how to do a backside ollie, but we all know what that means. Well, that's understandable. Did you mean all that embarrassing stuff you said about doing this for my love? It's more important than being cool. And maybe this makes me uncool, but I love you, Dad. It does make you uncool. Come on, son. Let's go home. What a stressful experience. I'm definitely sleeping in your bed tonight. That's fine, because I'm not. <laughs> Works every time. Ah, who could blame? What's wrong, fellow traveler? You look nervous. This is our first parody. Ah, you want to know the secret to a good parody? When you get to your destination, take off your shoes and socks and make fists with your toes. Okay. Now you can help me. Am I allowed to call it a sandwich if I eat three pieces of bread stacked together? You talking about a bread sandwich? <laughs> I suppose I am. Yeah, man, little mayo. It's okay. I'm not a cop. And if you went to the bathroom one more time, I was going to shoot you. I have a too small colostomy bag. That's nasty. <laughs> uh, I've missed you so. Oh. I know. California. You brown? I'm Rollo. People call me Argyle. Aren't you a little young to be a limo driver? Aren't you a little old to be an action hero? Ha! Good banter. So my wife got this great job out here with Waterman International. She must make more than you. Mm-hmm. That's what we've been fighting on account of. Have mercy. Although I do take some comfort in knowing she still makes less than a man would for doing the same job. <laughs> I think tonight's Christmas poll set it straight. Are you even listening to anything I'm saying? Have mercy. You must be Cleveland. You're gonna die. I've fallen and I can't get up! <laughs> <laughs> like that old lady 
in the commercial that we all just saw for the first time because it's 1988. <laughs> that reference will never get old. Come on, terrorists and guy who looks like Huey Lewis. Let's take over this building. Dudes, I really have fallen and I can't get up. Boy, that joke got old quick. Colt? Hold on, I'm almost finished. <laughs> This is Cleveland Brown, Donna's husband. Hi. You're also gonna die. Yeah! Hey, bud, you want a line? It's something new called cocaine. Cleveland, you made it! Let Crockett, sprockets, now we dance. Oops, 90s. I'm so high right now. Trip. Why aren't you using my last name? No one likes working with a married woman, Cleveland. No one. I'm just glad you're here now. One sec. Some stranger told me to take my shoes off. Do you mind? I've been doing a lot of thinking since we've been apart, and I realized all I want for Christmas is my two front us. Cleveland! Shh, 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 shh. Look, we're under the mistletoe. Cleveland, you haven't changed a bit! Hi, we're the bad guys. Uh, tell me, well, which one of you is CEO Lloyd Waterman? I'm Lloyd Waterman. Bitch. Hmm. I bet I could. Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, now I ain't got no shoes. Oh, God! Terrorist! Terrorist? Oh, no! Ah! There's no way I'm giving you the codes to the vault. And I don't care what unspeakable things this brawny beef... Mr. Waterman, I'm going to, uh, count to three. One, ah, ah, ah. Two, ah, ah, ah. Three. Not the kind of shot in the face he wanted. What was that? Ice machine. Kendra, go check out that wisecracking ice machine. I hope it's next to a vending machine, cause I'm here! Nice to meet you! I never was an ice machine. Guys, since it looks like we're not going anywhere for a while, we might as well have our Christmas gift exchange. Who's got number one? I have number one, but I got to go number two, cause I'm... Outrageous! Hmm, <laughs> Kassark. This alcohol's gonna give me loose lips, and y'all know it ain't too tight to start with. I'm outrageous! Kendra! I'm in a better place now. Bye, fatso. Mayday! Mayday! Bad guys have taken over the Waterman Tower. They're foreign, but not Arab, because they're not the go to bad guys yet. <laughs> That sounds serious. I'll put in a call to a cop who shot a kid. Junior, this is the hot girl who shouldn't be stuck in dispatch. We need you to investigate possible gunfire at the Waterman building. Okay. Twinkie, twinkie, little snack. Wonder how you taste with cheese. Oh, oh my God. I'm the first rapper to get shot. I bet this becomes a thing. This strap can hold up to 200 pounds. I'll be fine then. Ah, I'm better than a sailor! Finger curls paying off. But are there terrorists shooting guns here? No, no one's here at all. As a cop on Christmas, that's all I need to hear. I shot a kid. Where are you going? 
Oh, I've got to get his attention. <sighs> Sorry, sorry. Welcome to the party over here, pal. Hello, bad guys? Oh, the mystery man. So who are you? Just another American who watched too many TV mysteries as a child? Who do you think you are, Magnum P.U. or Macmillan and Loaf, or Murder She Float, or Simon and Seaman? I've always been partial to cartoon dogs. Scooby Dooby Doo. I'm sorry, we didn't catch that. There was a long beep at the end of your sentence. Where are you so we can come kill you? I'll never tell. Bye bye. All right, where am I? Ah, uh, 34th floor, northeast corner, under the exit sign. Twelve paces to the left of the elevator. Uh, I'm still on the button. Uh, I mean... Huh. We're gonna be looking all over space. Hello? Where the Pac-Man at? I'm in! I wonder if I could use this to make a woman. Number 13? Ooh, that's me! A sleeve of Dunlaps. That's hilarious. Big box, small gift. I've never seen that before. Who did this? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> oh. Looks like I got a hole in one. <laughs> Nailed it. If the person who called in the emergency can hear me, please respond. That's me. I shot a kid. Oh. How you holding up? I'm feeling pretty unappreciated. Well, I love you. Whoa, easy, banana pants. Well, talk to you later. I love you, too. Freeze, bear! Oh, no, you're one of them! Please don't kill me! Hey, hey, relax. What are you doing up here? Yeah, the party was a real, uh, snossage fest. Weirdly put, American friend. What's your name? Poop. Dick Poop. You've got bare feet. You've got bare feet. <laughs> you want to stay alive? Stay with me. We're on the 26th floor. Oh, you're the terrorist! What other voices do you do? Do George Washington! Martha, where are my teeth? Ha! Could have been. Shoot the glass! But he ain't wearing no shoes! <sighs> that is the point! Oh! Come on, guys! Stop shooting the glass! Some bitch got away. <laughs> yeah! Oh! 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 I need that. Uh, okay, let's go. Ah! Screw it, I'm leaving it in. Ow. I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. No relation. My family owned his. Now which one of you limp wristed pickle smoochers do I have to talk to about getting the power shut off? Right here, sugar. Shut it down. Oh, my budget popcorn. All right. Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Ho 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 ho! Merry Christmas! Ow! 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 Emergency lighting activated. Junior, what's going on out there? The FBI cut the power! Oh, I'm starting to get nervous. If I die, I need you to do something. What's that? Behind my dresser, there are some magazines called Cross-Eyed Oriental Street Girls. I need you to get them out of my house, but don't look at them or you'll find yourself staring down every girl in Chinatown. And they'll know why. And most of them won't be cool with it. But the ones that are, they will work you 
out, Jack. No. Um, we're here to, um, interview the, um, daughter of Cleveland and, um, Donna Tubbs. No, she, she no one. That she no, no interview. Would be, um. No, no. Here. No. Um. No. Um. No. I-N-S? No. Scooby-Doo, uh, where are you? Rover here! Ha! But your real name is Cleveland Brown. I know because I have a friend of yours here. Oh, please be pre-AIDS, Magic Johnson. Cleve, bro? Holt, what are you doing? Relax, I told them we started a bar way down in Kokomo. Oh, that would be a dream. Hey, you didn't tell them I'm Murray to Donna Tubbs, right? No way. Good, because then they'd shoot you in the head. <laughs> oh, he gone. Goodbye, Kakamo. I knew you knew someone at the party. <laughs> hey, Bonnie Brown Delia. Let's say you and me head down to the vault and see if we're the right combination. Team, I'm right here. Of course you are. You're everywhere. Hmm. This town's dirty. I don't like it. You killed my wife. Time to die. That stinky pig lob was your wife? Yes. You'll save money on hamburgers now. And now here's some savings for you. Where's my wife? I'll never tell! How about now that you're seconds older and you have more perspective? All right, then. They took all them hostages to the roof and they's gonna blow them up. That was very mature of you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Man, I love killing. Number 46. Also deceased. 47. Praise the Lord! Now, I can tell you about Noah's Ark, but tonight I'm about to cut his sock! Where's Donna? Check it out. Jewel of the Nile. They took her to the vault downstairs. Okay, everybody off the roof! What is causing all this smog? Get out of here, smog! Die! 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 <laughs> That's a terrorist. This is what this was all about? Stealing a TV? Not just a TV, the world's largest TV. 27 inches. <whistles> the Hark? Oh, forget it, blow the roof. Say goodnight, Nancy boy. There's no way he heard you. Cleveland, drop the gun or your sexy chocolate wife gets it. Now, now, what did you say to me before? Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why is this funny? Did, did I say a sniglet? <laughs> oh! Pins out! You crazy? I paid a fortune for this wig! We'll get you another one that doesn't make you look like a Oompa Loompa! <laughs> you smell horrible. You smell horrible too. And look horrible. Thank you, Freddy.
you were no help at all. I know. This is my wife, Donna. Donna Tubbs. Donna Tubbs Brown. There it is. Yeah. Why the hell did you do that? I told you, I shoot kids. Old habits die hard. <laughs> <laughs> The end. Yay! See what the internet says about this one first. So I tell her, baby, don't come over for a play date if you ain't ready to play. Straight up. Uh huh. Shorty be tripping. That's my old lady. I'm out. Hi, right, then. Be good, my brother. What up, Siobhan? Hi, Rollo. Dang. That lady's butt. Kablam! Rollo, you boys been playing with my shoes again? No. Really? You know what this means. This means I gotta go wow. shoe shopping! <laughs> I'll text Vanessa and I am Jody. You Twitter Gabby, Pope Tracy, and Cyberbully Maria. Oh, I got another call. Hang on, girl. Hey, girl. Ooh, hang on, girl. Hey, girl. Wow, Donna, between Rollo and Roberta, this house is a veritable beehive of activity. Mm-hmm, and the queen bee is... <laughs> 1,345, 1,346... 1,347, 1,348. What are you doing, son? Counting to a million. Why? Why are you doing that? Why does anybody do anything? Did you eat the brownies in the back of the freezer? No. Good. Don't, because they're your dad's for when he goes to concerts. Got it? Okay. 1,349. Man, I got to find Cleveland Jr. a friend. I agree. That boy is lonelier than a widowed trapeze artist with Alzheimer's. Oh. 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 This is a good place to meet people. See anyone who interests you? That guy seems cool. <laughs> or how about that young man over there playing basketball? Hey, mind if we play? Sure. All right, the two of you against this old timer. Check it. Ow! Ow! Foul! Foul! Daddy, he's leaving! Well, then he forfeits! You forfeit! He seems lonely. Looks like he could use a friend, too. Hey, sport. I got a proposition for you. Yeah? My name's Cleveland. Oh, you'll love him. He's a little chubby, but he's always up for a good time. A lot of other kids have jerked him around, but I can tell you're the kind of guy who would treat him right. Don't get me wrong, he's a handful, but a nice handful. Look, I'll be honest with you, I'm tired of playing with him. You want to see him? Come over by the car and I'll let you have a look. Come on, what do you say? I'll give you 30 bucks right now if you play with him in the car. Boomerang. <laughs> you know, once I read over the transcript, I could see how my words might have been misconstrued. Thanks for trying to help me, Dad. Maybe we'll find me a friend tomorrow. Yes, we will. And if not then, then the next day. And if not then, then the next day. And if not then, we'll give up. Because that will have been four days, and that's enough. Hey, there's Lester Crinklesax, boy. What are you doing, Ernie? Playing kick the can. I didn't know you could play that alone. Well, I don't have any friends. <laughs> oh, Daddy! Wear your damn seatbelt. Ernie, this is my son Cleveland Jr. He doesn't have any friends either. You won't play kick the can? Do I? That's okay. I didn't get it at first either. I'll teach you how. All right. And 
then the old lady was hobbling after us because the crab apple we threw broke her windshield and she tripped over a surveying flag and landed in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> I bet even she had to laugh at that one. <laughs> I tell you, Ernie, it's nice having you here. Looks like I'm not the only one around here with a white boyfriend. Oh, ho, ho. she's trying to call you homosexuals, Cleveland Jr. and Ernie. That's funny. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use it right now. Y'all are homosexuals. Ha, 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 ha. This has been a perfect day. Well, you know, Ernie, the fun doesn't have to end. Why don't we have a good old-fashioned sleepover? Yeah! Really? Sure. Mi casa es su casa. Wow, your dad knows janitor language. I love it here. Come on to my room, Ernie. We can look at our boogers under the microscope. Cool. Go to Cleveland. Cool. Oh, gross. <laughs> Hey, y'all, so what are we grabbing on tonight? Oh, Ernie, you're back for dinner. Again. Yep. You said I could come over any time, so I'm moving in. Well, that's not exactly what if I... If Cleveland Jr.'s boyfriend gets to live here, then why can't mine? Okay, he can't live here, and Federline's definitely not gonna live here. Hi, set him a nuts! Could I help you? Hi, Lester. This is a little awkward, but Ernie was talking about moving into my house, and I figured that you... that true, Ernie? You want to live here or there? There, I reckon. Uh, boys, all yours. Hmm. Well, let's go home. I'll get out of these pants and you can play with Cleveland Jr. I shouldn't talk to boys. I brought all my stuff. My kit, my caboodle, my doodads, my doohickeys, my doojiggers, my giggles. <laughs> We're going to be roommates. Oh, perfect. Just what we need, another dude. Would it kill somebody to bring home a hot Puerto Rican chick who's into black midgets? And this is Princess, my pet possum. Ah, hide the cheese! Sorry, but I'm no good at living with animals. Come down to the student center. You want a soda or something? I am referred to as the elephant man. You don't look like an elephant. You look like a big, fat, ugly tumor head man. This is not why they call me the elephant man. Morning. Ah, uh, could you at least run the water while you're doing that? Okay. Do y'all have a disposal or should I do the rest in the yard? Both. Is there a room for two? Hasta la possum, baby! So, Lester, have you given any further thought to when you might want Ernie to return home? He can make his own decisions. He's a grown-ass man. Lester, he's 14. You got... He's happy anywhere but our house. Y'all can pay for my drinks. So, Cleveland, how are you going to get Lester to take his boy back? I guess I'll have to get creative, like Van Gogh when he discovered the Q-tip. Ew, waxy. What the hell are you doing? This is my business. Excuse me, this is a private residence. It's me, Cleveland. What? What are you doing? I'm Lester from the future. I'm going to visit him in his sleep and tell him that without his influence, future Ernie will destroy NASCAR by making them drive the other way around the track. Will you just call child services? What? I don't want to get Lester in trouble. You won't. Trust me. I had to call them more than once with Robert. They'll come over, sit Lester and Ernie down, and force them to talk this out. That makes sense. Dynamite! What the? Holt? I figure you're Lester. I'll be you. We may dress as you all, but you all may not dress as us. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Oh. Dinner will be ready in half an hour. My, who could that be? Hi, I'm with Child Protective Services. I'm here for Ernie. Ernie, this nice man is going to sit down with you and your dad to have a talk. Okay.
But we were going to play to be the greedy mine owner who turned a blind eye to numerous safety violations. A, you can play later, and B, you know you can't fit in that crawl space. I don't have to fit in there, Daddy. I'm the owner of the mine. I don't have to do the dirty work. Plus, I already told you, I knew it was dangerous in there. Ah, yeah, 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 you can play later. Thank God you called us, Mr. Brown. No child should live in such conditions. You called child services on me? How dare you? I feel terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I broke up a family and sent away the only friend Cleveland Jr. had. I know. I mean, Lester's not perfect, but he is Ernie's father, Cleveland. Whoa, listen to you. He's Ernie's father. Yes, sis, they'll have a conversation. Oh, maybe they'll hug it out. Oh, that'll be great. Oh, that's only because you were all, my kid is lonely. He's a loser. Blah, blah, blah. I gotta get him a friend. Oh, I sat on my nuts. Uh-huh, and you're all... Oh, Cleveland, even though we have our differences, I should probably pleasure you right here in the kitchen. Any way you want. Whatever makes you feel good the fastest so you can get out there and reunite that family. And then you're like, no, that's okay. I'll just go in the bathroom and take care of myself real quick and then get out there and bring Ernie home. Oh, man, why'd I have to say that? Lester, good news. I already heard we got a black president. I know, but this is about Ernie. I called Child Services and found out that they took him to a foster family in Elmwood. But first, I listened to their entire message because some of their menu options may have changed. Anyway, they scheduled a custody hearing for tomorrow morning. All you have to do is come with me and we can get your boy back. What about my six pigs, my donkey, and my porta john <laughs> I don't know what to do. Lester won't go to the hearing. It's like he doesn't even want his son back. Am I the only one who knows psychology here? Nope. I minored in it. Guess what I majored in? Partying. There he is. The point of them way too stupid. Oh, oh, Lester. Oh, we, we were just speaking of a, of a different Lester. And, and in case you, you did not hear, this, this other Lester is stupid. Uh, sorry I'm late. I was busy turning Ernie's room back into a panic room. Panic room with Forrest Whitaker, who was in Fast Times with Sean Penn, who was in Mystic River with... Kevin Bacon. Yeah! In three! Suck it! You know, uh, Lester, I, I like having a son just to do the chores around the house that I, that I don't want to do. Well, not to mention the tax break you get for having a child. Taxes? I don't pay no damn taxes. Screw the government. Well, the government is who took your child away. See, Lester, this isn't about Ernie. This is about the government disrespecting you as a man. You have to stand up to the government, Lester. Show them who's boss. I'm getting my son back. Vegas, right now. Right now. Vegas, who's in? I've, I've never been to Las Vegas. Let's do it! What the hell? All right, we just got to stop off at my house, grab my black shirt, and get some cash from my mom. There he goes. Slight break. Oh, that's crisp. What you think? Mmm, you look Waffle House handsome. No brunch after church today, ma'am. I got a hearing to go to. Too much? Mm-mm, just right, baby. Now go get that kid back. Hey, baby. You're right on time. Oh, hey, Lester. Are all these gun-toting rednecks coming to the hearing with us? We ain't going to no hearing. We're going to go to that foster home and take my boy back. What are you talking about? I'm doing what you told me to do. Standing up to the government. Showing them who's boss. And no one's going to stop me. I always found Flip Wilson very funny. Me too. You know who this was classy? Ed Bradley. Ed Bradley was a class act. 
Mm-hmm. I once became aroused while looking at Halle Berry and her breasts. Thank you. Sons of Stool Ben, I'm not gonna lie to you. Most of you are gonna die today. I think I left a cake in the oven. Fair enough. Now the rest of us are gonna go in there and show the government that they can't take my son. Oh. Lester, please. Remember what Kenny Rogers said right before he went into the chicken business and then made himself look like an old woman. You don't have to fight to be a man. All right, all right, all right. Hold up, fellas. Cleveland and me is gonna try talking to him. Y'all can wait outside. No sodomy. Oh. Well, good thing I brought Dancing Dan. Look at him. Look, look at him. Please return Ernie to his rightful father. You seem like perfectly lovely people, but... Uh... Nope. The child is not going back to that house. I ain't leaving without my son. Where do you think you're going? You're messing with my livelihood. That foster kid is money in my pocket. No! Lester obviously cares enough about Ernie to risk his own life. I, do I have brains in my hair? No, you got it. Do I? No, uh-uh. I'm gonna ask to belong together. You're risking your life just to get me home? But I thought you didn't want me home. I never said that. You said you didn't want to live at home. I was only saying that because you didn't say you wanted me to come home. You thought, and, and I meant... Oh, don't that beat all. <laughs> okay, on three. Let's say it. One, One two... two. I love you. Ah, what's it? Well, I have to admit, this new couple seems to have a few issues of their own. Foster kids, attack! Tell you what, how about if I promise to keep an eye on Ernie, since I'm just across the street? All right, fine. Ernie can go home. I'll sign the release. Great. Great. Hey, Lester, you got custody. Yeah! <laughs> we'll take that kid now. Shandel where? Shandel what? Shandel here. You got a gun? You think I'd get in a truck full of rednecks without packing heat? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're all right. I take back all the racist stuff I said about you. What racist stuff? Oh, yeah, you weren't there. I told you, look, I left my ID in Virginia. I'm 32, dog. Look at my class ring. Come on, man. Please? Hey, halt, halt, man. You, you gotta get in here, man. I think, I think, I think I just made out with Nikki Hilton. Oh, oh my God. I, I don't know how you're right. I, I, I don't know what was in that aspirin that, uh, that uh, those Arab guys gave me, but that's the best freaking aspirin I've ever had. Whoa! All right, Herbie Hancock's coming to town. Hey, old man, buy me some Herbie Hancock tickets. You don't know nothing about Herbie Hancock. What? Don't you tell me I don't know about Herbie Hancock. I love Herbie Hancock. Me too. Rocket. Rocket. That ain't Rocket, that's Axel F. How does Rocket go? Ba 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 Ah, doggone it, now you got me doing it. You've Herbie Hancock blocked me. Kids, I've told you three times now to go make your beds. You get two more times, then a final warning, and then I go to work angry. I already made my bed, Miss Donna. Is that sarcasm, Junior? Because if there's one thing I do not understand, it's sarcasm. No, I'm telling the truth. Oh, well then, thank you. What kind of idiot makes their bed? Damn fat fool done made he bed. Shoot, now I got to make my bed. Damn. I'm proud of you, son. Now maybe you could work on eating a little slower, and not as much, and not so often, and maybe you could exercise. Maybe you could get a job. <laughs> oh, you know I've been looking. I just haven't found the right one yet. Last week I answered an ad for an old grizzled cop two days from retirement. Hey, Brown, go draw their fire. Oh, oh, oh! oh well, 
I'm two days from retirement. And then I tried my hand as a singing spokesman for a furniture flea market. Living room, bedroom, dinette, we got it, you need it, you'll find it. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. Hey, hey, you heard me. Come shop at Simply Market. Stool band, it's just like, it's just like a mini mall. Hey, hey, living room, bedroom, dinette. Oh, yeah, you can find them at the market. We talking about flea market. Stool band, it's just like, it's just like a mini mall. Hey, hey, don't stop. Let's make it a dance. Come on now. To the left, to the, left, to the right, to the right. Let's do this dance. Hey, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Let's make this a dance. Flea market, stool band, it keeps you a jumping. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. Can I have a beer, please? Me too. And I as well. Give me a Stoli Red Bull. Sugar free. I've got my father's hips. Just order a beer, fool. Whoa, watch out for this guy, huh? Eh? Cleveland, what, what, what the, what's up with the, with the, sh the short fuse, man? Oh, I'm just having trouble finding gainful employment. Oh, yeah, yo, finding a job is hard. I've never found to the job of my dreams. And when he did, I knew that he was the guy that I wanted to, to keep going to to ask for things. Last year, I asked Jesus for tickets to the ESPYs. He didn't come through, so I just watched it on my plasma. Oh, in your mom's basement? Shut up! You know, uh, Cleveland, there's uh, an opening in my uh, department down at the cable company. I, I, you, uh, I could put in a good word for you. Telemarketing? Yes. Yeah. Why, why, why does everyone always say it like that? Te telemarketing is the chatter of the global marketplace. Ring, ring! Hello! Cleveland, it's your future. Are you going to answer it or, or quietly whisper to me, tell them I'm not here. Plus, for every new employee I bring in, I get a $200 bonus. And I, and I, sh I sure could use it after I'd, I donated all that money to help fight bear AIDS. Did you get the bear to wear the condom? Oh, cool, cubicles. Hey, good morning, Mr. Waterman. Everything okay here, Tim? Oh, yes, thank you. Say pineapple if you want me to get security. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Waterman, this is, this is Cleveland, the guy I was telling you about. You didn't tell me he was... <clears throat> <clears throat> ...has several buttons with numbers and other things on them. You, you, you'll probably just use the ones with, with the numbers, though, I would think. Okay, so I got you down for one deluxe package with high-speed internet. No, thank you, sir. I just made my first sale! Holy smokes, I've never seen beginner's luck like that before. Okay, bye now. Hey, my phone is filled with silver dollars! Please! Ah! 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 No! Uh, uh, uh. All right. No! Great job, Cleveland. Sorry for judging you earlier today. I did what I grew up watching my mother do. Underestimate minorities. Of course, then she'd sleep with them. She sounds like someone I would dislike. And then like a lot. And then dislike again. <laughs> <laughs> so, no two months gets the same exotic coffee, right? Portugal? Do they know coffee in Portugal? Oh, that, that, that sounds expensive. We have Folgers crystals. You have Folgers crystals. Yes, you have my card on file. Thank you. <sighs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna go and uh, take out the trash. Down under the sheets and take care of Mama Bear. You're watching Ike Turner Classic Movies. Why don't you come up and see me sometime? What the hell did you just say? I didn't say nothing, I Why uh, you uh, bet uh, me uh, treat uh, you uh, like uh, this? Uh, 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 uh. Roberta, Rallo, Cleveland Jr. folded the laundry, and I think you two should put it away. Put away my laundry? It's not my job to pick up after myself. I'm not my mother. You'll get this back when you're done with the laundry. Oh, man, now what am I supposed to... Oh, there's a book. Don't laugh, America. Don't laugh. Can I have your attention, please? Due to his remarkable sales, I'm giving this week's Employee of the Week Award to Cleveland Brown. Hooray! As part of your Employee of the Week Award, here's $200 bonus. Neat! 
Hey, Tim, you want to come out with me tonight while I mindlessly blow through all this extra money? Uh, no, no, no thanks. You you, you go on ahead. I'm, I'm going to stay late and try to make a few more sales. Okay. I might just go buy myself a top hat. Going to get myself a top hat. Top hat. <sighs> What are you doing? Oh, uh, oh, hey, Arch. What are you doing, Tim? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. Tim, those are for us at work, not to take home. Why, well, yeah, well, I didn't use any today, so I figured what I didn't use I could take home. No, it's not how this works. Well, it's just that my wife, she puts these in her diet sodas because she likes so much chemicals, you know. Then what are the coffee filters for? Oh. Uh, Why don't you just go ahead and put everything back? Look, it's been a hard month. Sometimes months are hard. You gonna bring in extra stuff when things are going good? Well, see you tomorrow, Arch. No, you won't. Taking a vacation day. Whoa, what's this? My chore wheel. It makes doing chores even more fun. Watch. Got it, Patrol, all right? We gotta stop this before it's too late. I know. Look what happened when nobody stopped Robert Redford. Let me get this straight. For only $10,000, I can have every inch of my skin replaced with fried chicken? That's correct. I'd be a fool not to. Oh, no way! Terry Kimple's in the house, y'all! Hey, Cleveland, holy smokes, what are you doing? Need some tighter pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tim, Terry here was my best friend in high school. He even saved my life once. Oh, I just did a solid for a friend. You'd have done the same thing. Hey, man, I needed this. Thank you. No problemo. Hey, what are you kids doing? <laughs> <laughs> I assume this is yours? Oh, that is racist. Come on, wise guy, let's go. Now hang on, Chief. Cleveland didn't know nothing about this. That there weed? Well, it belongs to me. Terry, you could get expelled. That's all right, man. Your future's a hell of a lot brighter than mine is. Heck, you could be the first black president of the United States. You take this opportunity and you use it, Cleveland. Let's go. You use it. Use it, man! You use that! So how did your life turn out? Well, when my adulterous ex-wife took my house in our divorce, I moved back to town and hastily married a woman I had not seen nor spoken to in over 20 years. So in addition to my own emotionally fragile son, I'm now responsible for two ill-mannered stepchildren, which is why I got an entry-level telemarketing job at the cable company. So, pretty good, I guess. What? Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, I was just checking out that pair of legs down there. Ha-ha! <laughs> I see Terry Kimball hadn't changed. Yeah, the ladies love- Hey, you know what? You should come out with me on my calls today. We can catch up! Lord Jesus, could you please encourage Cleveland to go with Terry in his hot, firm magnet so I can catch up to his sales? Hey, Tim, will you be all right if I leave you? Oh, yeah, yeah, have a good time. Thanks, Jesus. Okay, now maybe we can talk about bringing back Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Hey, Cleveland Jr., my day's going well. How about chores? That's a funny way to say it, but it's going all right. Don't be smart. You listen to me, Jack. You better stop cleaning up around here or things are going to get messy. Like this. No! Tuck in the corners, just like mommy did it. Just like things were when mommy did it. And don't divorce the sheets. The sheets must never be divorced. Dude. So I said, I don't care if you're pregnant. That's a three-way in my book. <laughs> this is humorous. Why aren't you laughing, Tim? Yeah, what is it? Is your wife having her bear period? <laughs> oh, gross. Why, why would you say that? Let me get the next round. I'm still playing with that sweet bonus. Uh, actually, uh, Cleveland, do you, do you think I could do uh, maybe for a sandwich for me? Seriously? What, am I buying rounds of food now? <laughs> Hey, I'll tell you what, Tim. You show us your bear penis and I'll buy you a whole steak. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yogi. Is it bigger than the average bear's? <laughs> <laughs> he has a bear penis. Go ahead and laugh at the financially struggling bear. I hope... I hope Jesus makes something bad happen to you. <gasps> there, I said it. So, were you serious about the penis for steak deal?
hope you're okay to drive. You're a little drunk. Yeah, well, thanks, my mama. I was born a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh -oh. oh, no, this is bad, man. This will be my third DUI. I'm going to go to jail. I'm going to lose my job. They're going to make me cut my hair. That there weed, well, it belongs to me. Oh, I just did a solid for a friend. You'd have done the same thing. <laughs> oh, E.T.'s finger! Phone home! <laughs> you go on and get out of here. I was driving this rock. You're a good friend, man. Thanks. Check him for drugs. Oh, that's racist. No, the Ooh. Now get in the car. Aww. Aww, so? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bailing me out, sweetheart. Baby, I'm a ride-or-die bitch, you know that. You're a good man, Cleveland Brown, covering for your friend, and I'm proud to be your wife. Oh, we're in trouble, Donna. I'll probably get fired for this. <gasps> and what if you go to jail? The thought of my man in prison lifting rusty weights all day, getting hard, fighting for his life in the shower, all soaked up and shiny? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Beating down a man for fronting me in the yard. Oh, yeah. I mean, who the hell does he think he is, anyway? What makes him think I won't cut him? Oh, Cleveland! Okay, flip me over. I'll be the girl first. What? This is prison we're talking about! Hey, Junior. Roberta and I think you're obsessively cleaning everything because you have some unresolved issues about your parents' divorce. I'm totally fine with the divorce. As a matter of fact, I've never even cried about it. Not one tear. What? Why would I cry? I mean, nobody died, just a family. A family died. That's all it is. A dead family. That boy's in denial. He's got to get it out. You know? Yeah, he's so fat, he'll probably die in his 40s. Rollo, that's mean. What if he heard you say that? He'd probably cry. What's the name of that Jewish comedian? Don Rickles? Get him on the phone. Oh, man. Has Waterman talked to you yet? Not yet. I hope he doesn't fire me. I should be the one getting fired. Fired by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Ah, big deal. You showed your penis for food. We all been there. No. I was so jealous of Cleveland's success that I prayed to Jesus that something bad would happen to him. I'm so sorry, Cleveland. Tim, you are dumb. Out of pity, I accept your apology. Bye-bye. Cleveland, I'm sorry, but I can't tolerate the destruction of company property. The truck is one thing, but if anything had happened to Terry, well, I, I don't know what I would have... This company would have done. He's a good worker. A good man. A strong, robust, tastefully cologne man. Okay. Here's your tea, Mr. Waterman. Oh, oh, that's too bad. I sure am going to miss Terry. He and I go a long way back. We were on the swim team together. Did he wear a Speedo? Yes, he wore a Speedo. That is, when you could get him to put on a bathing suit. Hey, Junior, get in here for a minute. What's going on? We decided it's high time you cried, but we got to ease you into it. Good evening, and welcome to the roast of Cleveland Brown Jr., a man so huge, his butt has its own zip code. <laughs> you saying I'm as large as a municipality? And now, a young lady who goes to third base faster than Ricky Henderson, my sister, Roberta Tubbs. Rollo Tubbs, everyone, or as he's soon to be known, that's him, officer. <laughs> And Cleveland Brown Jr., or as you're soon to be known, the poor bastard they buried in a piano case. <laughs> Speaking of Jews, here comes one in a big gross diaper. Don Rickles impersonator Keith Lieb. Thanks, Rollo. Hey, look who it is. A colored Shelly Winters. That's hurtful leaving without out of it. All right, all right. Look at this fat son of a bitch. You put a hot plate in this kid, you got yourself a Manhattan studio apartment. <laughs> Stop making fun of me! 
There it is. Let out all the pain from your parents' divorce. I promise you'll feel better. I love you guys. Thank you. We love you too, Junior. What, did KFC go out of business? I better get out of here before I get killed. He's from a different time. And that's why we called him the Wet Banana. Oh, I could tell unnecessarily graphic stories about Turi all day. But I gotta go pack up my desk. Well, let's not be too hasty. It's possible I overreacted. I assume you're sorry. You're sorry, right? Very. And if you stayed, you could tell me stories. Say, one every morning over tea? Stories that, you know, Mrs. Waterman wouldn't need to hear. Stories that only a man should hear. Well, if I come back, I'd like to work with Turi as an installer. I don't want to be chained to a desk. Plus, Tim's your salesman. The bear? Yeah, you don't want to lose him. In fact, you should give him a raise. Have you seen his weenie? I have. Me too. Isn't it, Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? Yes! Ah! <laughs> I don't know how you got out of it, but you did! So what's the plan, amigo? You're getting laid, I'm getting paid, and we're doing it drunk. All what? right! <laughs> hey, Cleveland, check it out. Huh? Oh! You owe me a steak! Put that away! <laughs> ah, stool fest. A magical time of year when hobos and drug addicts are made up as clowns and put in charge of dangerous rides. Huh. Farmer. Can you believe that's still a job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Woo! D cups! ACDC! Rather see some D cups. Or C cups. Hell, I don't even mind B cups if they're real. I don't want no nippy little A cups, though. Well, we failed to bond yet again. I'm gonna go to the arcade. Here, here's ten bucks. Enjoy yourself. Don't get kidnapped. <laughs> Holla. Cleave bro. Holt. Hey, get over here! Not gonna be able to make it. What? You've been talking about Stoolfest for weeks. Where are you? Crosswinds outlet with my mom. Sucks. Holt, can you see through this skirt? Ugh, oh God! Sounds like you got your hands full. Look, man, I gotta go. Night Ranger's playing a free concert. Ranger's there? Uh, son of a bitch! That's it. We're not going to Van Heusen. Mom, you know I need shirts. What's this? Hit three shots, win a fish? I could use a fish. All three. I'm on to you. Overinflated ball, small rim. But your tricks can't stop Rollo's game. Now give me my fish. Your name is Rockwell. You are my new best friend. I love you. Be out of town tomorrow. You make me sick. Rockwell, sit. Stay here while I fill your new home with water. Ow! Ow! Stop the fight! You're gonna cause lasting brain damage! Junior, no! Ah! You drank my fish! You drank my fish! I warned you not to put things in his eat radius. Did you chew him? No. That hypnotist conditioned me not to chew when I drink anymore. Well, then maybe he's living inside you. Like a baby? Yeah. Except this baby's gonna be born out the back. I heard that's how Danny Bonaducci was born. Ha ha ha! Out the butt. I can't believe I'm at stool fest because of my stupid mom! Ha! You're whipped by your mom! Shut up! I call the shots in our relationship. Oh, Sparky! Then how come your mom never lets you come to poker night? It starts at nine. That's late. Oh, maybe it's not my place, but... She's my mom. You're a big short man. Man up. Talk to her. Lay down the law and let her know you're not a boy anymore. You're right, Cleveland. I'm a man. I'm gonna tell my mommy she can't mess with Holt and Richter. Dutch oven! Ah, let me out! <laughs> Just kidding. The Dutch don't cook their food by trapping farts in a blanket. I don't think. I mean, they couldn't possibly do that, could they? What's that? <laughs> it's Holt. He's all worked up like Ian McKellen at a high school wrestling match. Oh, yeah. I convinced him to set his mom straight. We're done! You're not the boss, okay? Oh, my God! Cleveland, come look at this! 
Now, how you get a pimple on your thigh? I'm sorry! I will always love you! Cleveland, he's killing his mother! Oh, that's so crazy. Let me take a look, huh? Odd. It's more than odd, Cleve. Heart to heart, we'll return in a moment. Do you still think Holt murdered his mother, or are you looking for my breakfast out there? Because it sure ain't in the kitchen. Joke all you want, but I watch all three CSIs, Miami, New York, and regular. And I'm telling you, this was an inside job. What's gotten into you? I have a desk job, Cleveland. All I do every day is watch crime shows on Hulu and read mysteries. That's all anyone with a desk job does. If it makes you feel better, I'll go down to the stool, get shellacked, and ask Holt if he murdered his mom. No! Don't just ask him. Be subtle, like Garrison Keillor. And then Mrs. Clarington called us back from the fishing hole to offer us a slice of her famous rhubarb cobbler. <laughs> I've never hated white people more. So, anyone do anything interesting last night from 11.37 to 11.45 p.m.? Oh, I was just, I was just uh, wearing a mud mask, writing down what I'm grateful for. Listen to AM radio and yanked it on the nines. Nice. Yeah, I took care of some business myself. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I talked to my mom, like you said, and she went away for a while. What do you mean, went away? Let's just say you set me straight yesterday. Made me realize what I needed to do. And <laughs> Time to feed our baby. Open up. I'm still hungry. It says you only get one pinch. I know, but I'm eating for two. Sold. <coughs> I think I feel him kicking. I've never seen you look so beautiful, Cleveland Jr. You're glowing. Now don't forget, you have to get him to confess and lead you to the body. We'll follow closely behind. Holt will be okay in prison, right? A petite, boyish fitness nut with a crotch-high head? Oh, yeah, he'll be the most popular guy in there. He gonna get tore up, isn't he? Listen, we need to talk. Holt, I saw everything. The body, the carpet, the car ride. What was I supposed to do? I was desperate! I know it was wrong! <laughs> I buried her near the north bank of the river! Take me there. In your red crossfire with a McCain Palin sticker on the back window. <laughs> She's over here. I want you to know I'm sorry. For what? For this. She's here! The body's here! Over here! <laughs> What the hell? Dog pile! I'm sorry, Holt, but you have to pay for what you did. Thou doth be judgeth by he who bringeth ambrosia to the shores of Galilee. Lest ye removeth the plank from thine eternal bounty, the quicker picker upper, or brawny, whose tagline I do not remember. But I do recollect that the lumberjack on the wrapper. You're going to jail. I got something. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Wait a sec. That's not your mom. It's a sex doll. Repeat, just a sex doll. Repeat again, a doll for sex. So move on in. Something to see here, people. Something to see. T-shirts? Get your Holt Richter has sex with dolls, T-shirts! I'm sorry, Holt. It's not your fault. I'm gonna tell you something right now that I've never told anybody. I've never actually had a girlfriend. Really? Oh, really? When I bought Kimmy, it started out as a joke. You know, a $7,000 joke. Why'd you bury Kimmy? I thought about what you said. 
I stood up to my mom and sent her on a vacation, which gave me time to realize my relationship with Kimmy wasn't healthy. So we had a goodbye three-way with a beanbag chair. Then I pretend to choke her to death, rolled her in a rug, and gave her a proper burial in a hastily dug shallow grave down by the river. That's cool. Well, that's the last I'll know of love. Hey, at least you had a taste. Tell you what I'm gonna do, Holt. First thing tomorrow, I'm gonna find a girl for you. A live one. A cute one. One who could clean herself when you're done. Unless she had no arms. I'll try to find you one with arms. You have my word, I'll try to find you one with arms. So I figured you could help me find a date for Holt. I haven't nailed that new chick yet. Hi, I'm Cleveland. I'm Jane. Pleasure. Are all these cats yours? I wish. <laughs> Neat. I think the pictures of the cats answer the- I'm just trying to learn who I am without a man, but I think I might be able to do that better with a man. You know Leap Year Virgos. <laughs> Bingo. Janie, I have a date for you. Hi, guys. It's me. Sorry to interrupt Guiding Light. Just wanted to share the good news. We've got a date! He's a friend of a friend of a guy I work with, and he- Still nothing? It's been days, man. I wish you would have to carry him for just one day so you would know how it feels. I'm doing what I can. You know how many 7-Elevens I had to go to to find those stupid grape jelly pop tarts you were craving? Oh, so you're saying I'm fat. <laughs> uh, I can't say anything. I'm taking a walk. I wish you never even swallowed my fish. I'm glad you swallowed the fish. I love you. I had chicken pox as an adult. Almost died. Didn't care. Knocked out Band of Brothers in a weekend. Cool. Are you sitting in a booster seat? No. <laughs> no, children sit in booster seats. This is called the Executive. Bought it at Sky Mall. Same one Bono has. Oh my god. You like music? I like music too! What's your f- Have you heard Abbey Road kicks ass? Bought it today. You know what? If you like the Beatles, you will love this band called Nickelback. Do you have some? Only like a whole CD in my car. Well, let's go! I haven't seen Holt in a week. Now, I don't want to sound like a queer or nothing, but I miss him. I miss him, too. <laughs> Just teasing. I think he's fallen in a more. Thanks to moi! Cleveland, how many mimosas have you had? Cattles or cans. Here they come! Sorry we were late. We would have been here on time, but someone's a little jerk. <laughs> hey, guys, can I take your coats and sunglasses? I'm fine! Come on, Holt. Only dipwads like Jack Nicholson and the entire rap community wear sunglasses inside. I said I'm fine! <gasps> Holt fell on a pair of binoculars. Isn't that right? Holt, I said, isn't that right? Uh, she's right. I bird watching accident. That's right. Bird watching accident. You like watching birds? You like looking at their little bird weenies? Yeah, you do, don't you? You're a weird little bird queer, Holt. Having problems. Problems? Since when is getting too much hey nani nani a problem? Jane's texting me. I've got 30 seconds to call her back or else I get hit uh, with evening rates. I'll tell you something. You could travel all the way to Egypt and you wouldn't see denial like that. Shut the f*** up, Tim. I got hold into this mess and I'm going to get him out of it. I'm going to go tell Jane to say goodbye to my little friend. The black guys love Scarface. They, can, they cannot stop talking about it. Hi, Cleveland. What are you doing here? Now you listen here. You're not gonna lay another finger on Holt. In fact, you're gonna call him and tell him it's over. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Let's talk more about this. But first, I'd like to give you a sandwich. Really? Well, I am a little peckish. Wait a minute, is this gonna be a knuckle sandwich? <coughs> How about a little Hawaiian punch to wash it down with? I am a little parched. Wait a minute. <coughs> So, how did it go? Did she agree to stay away from Holt? Does it look like it, boo-boo? And I couldn't even hit her back because she's a girl. I'll handle this. You tell her she still owes me a sandwich and a glass of Hawaiian punch. 
Ha, Jane. You know, according to Ecclesiastes 1216. Not in the face! Oh! Not the nads! And those are just several of the rumors about David Geffen. Oh god, this is it! This is really happening! How close are you? I'm crowning! Okay, remember your breathing. <laughs> Turn that off! I look awful! I'm not wearing any makeup! Alright, you want an Anison? No, I want to do it all natural! Alright, push, push! <laughs> Just give me the damn Anison! You don't need it! I do! One more push! Big one! <laughs> you did it, Junior! We did it, Rollo! Now let's have a look at our little guy. Oh boy. Did he make it? Uh, this is unclear. That's an awful mess. Yes, it is. Looks like something you'd eat if you lived in Louisiana. Yes, it does. May I? You may. I hate that it turned out this way. I'm glad we went through this together. Uh-oh. Here comes the after- Hi, Cleveland. Sorry about before. <laughs> Hope you're okay. But then again, you kind of made me do it. Anyway, I'm gonna have to borrow Holt from you guys. No. I'm sorry? I said no. Not going with you. Won't back down. Petty. Heartbreakers. Full moon fever. Holt, I'm going to count to three. And if we're not heading out the door for tapas and mojitos, then I am going to get a little bit upset. My curios! Let's go. Ugh. What the hell is going on down there? Sweet corn in the morning. What happened to you guys? It was... <clears throat> we tried to get her to stop hitting hold, and she beat the respective craps out of us. She beat up all of you? Well, what were we supposed to do? We can't hit a girl. Well, I understand. I never hit a girl either. But I will smack the white off a bitch! <laughs> ah! That is for my team. And this is for my master! <laughs> and don't you ever come back! I'm going back to J-Date, where people get me. Oh, Donna, you were magnificent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna shave my legs tonight. Thanks, ladies. Must be nice having a special woman in your life. Sup? There's a certain young lady who wants to see you. Done with women. Working on myself. Come on, you knucklehead. Hope you weren't planning on getting any reading done tonight. Jimmy! But how? I bought her at a police auction for 18 bucks. She cost seven grand! Yeah, I reckon they're not worth as much used. Lift us up where we belong. Where the eagles fall. Lift us up where we The heart settles for what the heart can get. Lester, I like your stupid kid rock hat. My boy Ernie bought it for me. He's been pulling double shifts at the slaughterhouse. Ernie has a job? Man, I sure wish Cleveland Jr. showed initiative like that. He just sits around the house like a fat. Like a fat what? I don't know, just a fat. Hey, if I wanted to talk about kids, I would have become a pediatrician. Or a pedophile, like my Uncle Wendell. He was a bad man. No point talking about it now. He also molested Jerry O'Connell, so, you know, a little bit of a connection there. That'll be twelve fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on your tab. Great. We'll pay you at the end of the month. Good. I need it to pay my rent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gus, what a crazy bar owner you are. To the stool! The, the stool! stool! Green day! Hi, hi, hi. Hey, Dad, Ernie just got a new bike. Can I get one, too? It's the electric kind, so it does all the pedaling for you. It, it's like the player piano of bikes. do 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 Hmm. Is he stupid or smart? I can't figure it out. Maybe if you got a job like Ernie, you could buy that bike for yourself.
I work for everything I have. Look around. I bought everything in here. Excuse me? You most certainly did not. How about the cuddly bought that wrought iron Golden Gate Bridge that's hanging in the hallway? Cleveland, my uncle made that. Uncle Leonard did. Damn, he ain't bad. He couldn't do an Eiffel Tower, could he? Probably. Let's call him. Leonard! Hey, hey, it's Cleveland Brown. Hey, <laughs> it has been a long time. Listen, you still making wrought iron representations of world-famous landmarks? Yeah? You think you can make a wrought iron Eiffel Tower like the one they got in Paris, France? How tall we want the tower? I don't want it. Mm. No, we, we, we're getting it. Uh, yeah, I, maybe not too tall, because we don't want it to break up the flow of the room. But I guess we don't want it too short, either, because it is the Eiffel Tower, after all. How much is this going to cost, anyway? Seven hundred dollars? Hmm. I'm going to pray on this, and I'm going to call you back. Seven hundred dollars. The point is, Cleveland Jr., you need a job, and I'm going to help you find one. I'll do anything but government work. Well, you're too skinny for that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if Lester's boy can get a job here, so can you. It would be so cool to work with Ernie. Cow got up. No, fellas, that's not a cow. Ah, no, help. Mooing, you fool! I'm mooing, I get scared! So you want to be a paper boy? No better job for a boy your age. When I was your age, guess what I was? A paper boy? Smart kid. Chief, I just read online, the newspaper business is officially dead. There's your headline. Well, I guess I'm out of a job. Are you hiring? Well, hiring for what? Oh, come on. If you're not hiring, then why am I even here? When I could be at Kinko's updating my resume. Oh, I need a drink. Getting you a job has been more annoying than going to the bathroom in a Chinese restaurant. Heads up, buddy. No paper towels in there. Thank you. <sighs> Things out of place! Things out of place! Here you go, sir. These were cluttering the tables and my mind. Thank you, young man. Can you believe that something so fun can be made of paraffin wax? Aren't crayons remarkable? Whiskey on the rocks? That'll be three dollars American. You should pour smaller drinks so you can get more out of every bottle and make more money. So you're saying by putting less alcohol in each drink, I could make more money? Does every bar know about this? I don't know. Huh, this crayon says peach, but it doesn't taste like a peach. You're right. It should say wax. All right, let's go home. Your son's a sharp little fella, Cleveland. Really? Hmm, Gus thinks he's smart. But is Gus smart? He just saved me a lot of money. Junior, how would you like to come work for me here at the stool? Well, all right. Look at you, a working man, thanks to me. Now, Junior, if you take this job, you might see your father do some strange things, like swear a lot or vomit on stuff or dance with some ladies that aren't your stepmom and maybe aren't even ladies. Might dress up like a lady himself to win the confidence of an out-of-town businessman and then swindle him out of his inheritance. All of this needs to stay a secret. Is that something you can handle? I suppose so. Great. He can start tomorrow. Drinks around the house, everyone. I've just inherited... Aw, oh, Junior. What's your problem, sour puss? You haven't sent a text all breakfast. Lacey Stapleton was at the mall yesterday. That bougie private school hoe from around the way? Mm-hmm. She got a new puppy. Ooh, I hate her. Who's Lacey? Put it this way. We're the Paris and Nicole of Stoolbend. Who? You know, like Kim and Sheree. Come again? Kristen and Heidi, hello? Oh, from Aesop's Fables. No, you idiot, they're on the hills. The foothills of Appalachia? It's a show on MTV. The channel with the Phil Collins videos? Ooh, your country ass don't know anything. <sighs> I need to get out of this podunk cow town. Cow town? We got a Best Buy. They don't put those just anywhere.
cow town. Like a cow walks into a store and says, Moo, I need a stereo. Mom, I'm never going to amount to anything unless I get a puppy, too. Now, Roberta, you don't need to copy what Lacey does. That's childish. What you need to do is one-up her sorry ass. Put that bitch to shame. Go on. When I was in high school, there was this girl, Courtney Bebb. She got a nice pair of shoes. I got a nicer pair of shoes. She got a fancy coat, so I got a fancier coat. She got a fancy car, so you know what I did? You got a rumor that she had an abortion and her parents sent her to live with her aunt. Take that, take that, take that, take that. There's one thing you need to know about Tubbs women. We take all kinds of from men, but never from another woman. Hey, one of you hoes go down to 7-Eleven and get me a Diet Dr. Pepper. Right away, sir. Boy, getting wasted with my buds while my son cleans up. You know, that quirky Holocaust movie was right. Life is beautiful. Daddy, this is going to sound crazy, but... Gus wasn't even keeping track of your tab. And without a tab, there's no way to know how much you owe. But now there is, thanks to your boy, which is thanks to you, Cleveland. Yeah, thanks, Cleveland, he said sarcastically. What are you going to do about it? The only thing I can do, I'm going back to the island. Sorry, Mr. Bear, but that's our only pair of house pants. And with our new dress code, all customers are required to wear pants. We're trying to draw a more upscale crowd. Oh, they're, they're a little tight. When I, when I go home, it's going to take me a football game, isn't it? This is football. In Europe, we'll get more customers if we appeal to an international clientele. Still zero, zero. Uh, son? One sec, Dad. Rebecca, I need you to break down that full top into tutus and the marry the ketchups. Alberto, where's my heirloom tomato salad? Necesito pronto, mira que ya haciendo. Yeah, Dad? Son, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you, too. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. We need to free up that table for paying customers. What? I'm not going anywhere. Then our bouncer will show you out. Dick Clark! Happy New Year! <laughs> She's Lady Gaga, with less fleas. Nice backpack, Lesbo. Yeah? Well, meet what's inside the backpack, Trick. My adopted Malawian son, Dikembe, from the village of Matumbo. Let me add the white women. Wow, you adopted an African baby. That's right. Just like that old British transvestite. Madonna? Yup, that's his name. Big deal. This kid probably has AIDS. <gasps> I don't. <laughs> This place is dead. No tunes. And the chick's man over there is uh, really into uh, the microfish. Hmm. We need to get the stool back to the way it was. I'm sorry. Could you guys keep it down? I'm trying to reek. Well, the stool's never going to be the same as long as uh, Cleveland Jr. Is, uh, is working there. You're right. I got us into this. You'll get us out. <laughs> Just kidding. My show, I'll do it. Hi, Roberta. I'm Lacey's mother. And you must be the African boy. Hello, African boy. I chair an organization called Caucasian Heroes Offering Dollars Everywhere. Chode? Ooh, smart one. I'd like you both to be honored guests at my fundraiser tomorrow night and tell your story. In front of people? Yeah, lots of people. See you tomorrow. Could you pull my car around, please? I'm not a valet. That's not what I asked. I'm afraid I have some bad news, Junior. You may want to sit down. You know, I don't think sitting was quite right. How about if you crouch like a baseball catcher? Uh, I was thinking a little less Gary Carter and a little more Tony Pena. Wrong leg, but close enough. Now, I received that I have a 14-year-old working at my bar if I didn't fire you. Really? Yep. And then he asked me if I thought that $700 was too much to pay for a wrought iron Eiffel Tower. Then I said, your voice sounds familiar. Who is this? He said, this is Cleveland Brown. Oops. And I said, well, Mr. Oops, I don't know why this is any of your business, but I don't want any trouble around here, so I'll let him go. I'm sorry, Cleveland Jr. I understand. 
You're not gonna cry, are you? No, I'm not. For the first time in my life, I'm not gonna cry. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna get even with that candy ass son of a bitch. Hey, baby, how was the stool? It was awesome. It's back to the way it used to be, all gross and free. And no more of that bogus bogusness that this one did to the place. Hey, Junior, why weren't you there tonight? You're not working there anymore? No, I was fired. Oh, you know why? Bad job you did. You suck. I'm proud of you, son. You did a good job. You did a bad job. Water, 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 water. Water, water. No more water. Ah. Yeah, I don't need mm -hmm. ah! Sweet eggs and chicken legs, what happened to your mustache? I don't know, it's just gone, it's gone. And what's wrong with your voice? My mustache must have provided a natural filter. You've got too much face without your mustache. I know, that's why I wear it. You sound and look like a man I don't want to be with. Oh, rats. Sudden weight gain, balance problems, and your body has rejected the mustache. I'm afraid you have DMA. DMA? Depilatory mustachial alopecia. Heavens! Listen, lots of DMA-positive men go on to live very full lives. What's on your lip? Uh, eyeliner. Come on, Cleveland, you're better than that. Stop it, stop it! There you go. I'll write you a prescription, but until then, here's a prosthesis. You want the Fred Goldman or the John Waters? Hmm, I guess the Fred Goldman. Oh, that's better. Nice, very natural. Now you're gonna have to pay- Oh, all right, everyone, okay? Chode is just tickled pink to have this inspiring young lady with us. I jump in the bathtub, it's time to get all clean I'll be the cleanest kid you've ever seen The soap and the bubbles are filling up the tub So I'll jump in the water and scrub, scrub, scrub Wash my hair, do da da do do Wash my hair, do da da do do Wash my hair, do da da do do Wash my hair Now it's time to wash my face so nice and bright The bubbles are tickling but I feel alright Scrub it up my cheeks, my nose, my chin Making sure I'm sparkling from within Wash my face, do da da do do Wash my face, do da da do do Wash my face, do da da do do Wash my face Let's wash our arms and hands, it's really fun I'm dancing in the tub, oh look we're almost done Bubbles everywhere, I'll make them fly I'll be squeaky clean and ready to dry Wash my arms, do da da do do Wash my arms, do da da do do Wash my arms, do da da do do Wash my arms Now for my knees and toes, let's get them scrubbed The bubbles are popping, they make a fun hubbub I'm splashing and laughing, it's such a blast Time is the best, let's make it last Wash my knees, do da da do do Wash my knees, do da da do do Wash my knees, do da da do do Wash my knees Wash my toes, do da da do do Wash my toes, do da da do do Wash my toes, do da da do do Wash my toes Now I'm all clean from head to toe Time to hop out, let's dry off and go The bubbles were fun, I'll see you next time For another scrub-a-dub in this bathtub rhyme Replace your beer with that non-alcoholic crap George W. Bush pretended to drink But, but why? 
I wanted to get you back for getting me fired. Wait, you did this all by yourself? Well, I did have a little help. Dr. Fist? That's right. I was in on the scheme the whole time. I was acting, Cleveland. I studied drama at Northwestern before I went into medicine. You were very good, very natural. But you are my doctor. Right, but I was acting like a diff- I'm proud of you, son. Maybe he is smart. It was stupid of him to tell me, though. <laughs> I'm glad you're all made up and everything. But can someone get me to a hospital? Well, as a doctor, I prescribe a round of shots. Nobody's afraid of shots around here, are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh darn it! Bacon, cheese, eggs, smells like a Denny's in here. But without the old man stink. You got that covered. No, I smell like a middle-aged man. Propecia, hot wings, and night sweats from our adjustable rate mortgage. Now pass those eggs. Uh-uh. Remember what Dr. Fizz said about your cholesterol? Yes, he said it was appalling and life-threatening. Uh, pass the eggs. This is your breakfast, Cleveland. The same breakfast you've been eating for the past two weeks. More twigs. Fiber twigs. The cereal that lowers your cholesterol. Ah! I got a splinter! Cause you got a mouth full of wood like usual. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, come on, baby. I need you alive and healthy for the karaoke contest this weekend. We could win $500, and I don't want a repeat of our high school talent show. Love. Love will keep us together. Oh, no, I got my license. Oh, Roberta. I'm in my room! That's just your breakfast getting down to business. Here's your lunch. Bran muffin, can of beans, and for dessert, some of that Jamie Lee Curtis yogurt that makes you poop. Damn, Daddy! Remember when that cat crawled in the air conditioning duct and died, and we couldn't get it out for 16 months? That was like a gl- I smell nothing. Oh, what do you think you're- Oh, oh no! Oh, put me down! Put me down! <laughs> Oh, what if they come in here? What the? Oh my! Oh no! On the am! On the am! Oh, Terry! Hurry up! We gotta go! But I'm not finished! Oh! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh! Ow! 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 Ah, you ah! I'm sorry, Terry, but I'm on this new high-fiber diet, and I... My hermaphrodite yogurt! Look, if you're gonna be my partner, I don't want to hear one more fart out of you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good, because I... Oh, you bastard! <laughs> Sometimes they don't make a noise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look out! Ah! I can't believe uh. my last breath! <laughs> It's gonna be your ass gas! I always knew we would die this way. Gee, Gee thanks, thanks, Mr. Mr. Flippers. Terry, always keep your eyes on the road. Well do. And Cleveland, see a doctor about your ungodly flatulence. Yes, sir. Good. See you later, people. Bye, Bye Mr. Mr. Flippers. You're deep. Thank you. I was a philosophy major. Everything checks out, Cleveland. Your flatulence is a perfectly normal side effect of a high-fiber diet. So you're saying all this farting is okay? No, I'm saying it's medically necessary. But what about the social stigma? Won't people consider me a gross farting pig like Tommy Lasorda? I'll write you a note. You mean a free pass to pass gas wherever and whenever I want to? The medical term is a fart card. But remember, Cleveland, with great power comes great responsibility. Fart card. <laughs> he was a famous trumpet man from out Chicago way. He was the top man at his cry. But then his number came up. <clears throat> what did I tell you? You gotta project, Kendra. Sing like you do when you're in your wash tub out back. A tape, a tape, a tape, a tape.
poor fat Kendra. Lester and Kendra, everybody, vote with your applause. Wow, that really was not very popular. You two will not advance to the final Sunday night and thus will not be winning the $500 grand prize. Play them off, Charlie. Cause you had a bad day, you're taking one down. You sing a sad song just to turn it around. You say you don't know, you tell me don't lie. You work at a smile and you go for a ride. You had a bad day. You'll be there to push me up the hill. There's, There's no, no, no looking, looking back for Brown and his wife, Mrs. Cleveland Brown. I never knew love like this before. Now I'm lonely never more. Since you came into my life. You are my love like this I know. And I'll never let you... Oh, oh, you're my... Oh, oh boy, your heart... Oh, oh, it burns part of me. Oh, bad, bad, nothing but problems. Once I was lost and now I'm found And then you turned my world oh, oh, around Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> Cause I never knew love like this Great job, folks. You made the finals. Everybody be back here Sunday to watch the Browns and the Bears face off on national television. Woo! Then, after the football game, we'll turn off the TV and finish our stupid karaoke contest. I always thought I had a God-given talent, Donna. I'm a fartiste. We get you farting, too, and we'll be unbeatable. Cleveland, I want to win by singing. Why? Take the low road, baby. It's so much more fun and profitable. I mean, who would you rather be, Weird Al Yankovic or Dido? Dido! You and I are very different people, Donna. Hello? Uh-huh. Singing. Puh. Don't have to pay royalties on these babies. No, sir. My creative output is entirely my own. Cleveland. It's about Loretta. Loretta? Ha! What about her? What about my lousy, two-time and ugly-ass ex-wife? She's dead. Oh. Yes, I understand. I will handle the arrangements. Thank you for the sentiment. Goodbye. I am so sorry, Cleveland. Loretta had no next of kin and cohog, so one of my old friends is driving the body down here. The funeral is Friday. There she is. Oh, what a drive. Thirteen hours is a long way with only one hand on the wheel. Oh! Ha, sex. You want to see her? Why is she wearing a French maid's costume? Because I want to nail a dead French maid. Giggity, giggity! I've missed you, Glenn. Do you know how she died? Yep. It all started when Brian dug up a brontosaurus skull. All right, a little more, a little more. I'll have this sucker in the bedroom in no time. Oh, time for United States of Terra. No, 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 no! Oh, God! Wait, what's that? Oh, look at her gross boobs. <laughs> Well, I'll run her over to the funeral home. Then I'm heading up to Langley. Got a background gag and a bachelor party scene on American Dad. Oh, that that's good. Paying work. Save it. Have fun on your spinoff, Joey. I will. And this ain't no Joey, you won no We are so sorry, Cleveland. Petey, you two will have to drop out of the karaoke finals. Such a disappointment. Excuse me, I don't think we're dropping out. Hell no, we're gonna win. To spite Loretta. She was an awful person. How did Cleveland Jr. take the news? Why would my son care that my ex-wife is dead? Oh, boy. Warm white socks. Warm white socks. Gee, you were fun. Gee, you were fun. I wished you would roll you all up in the ball. Carry you upstairs and then down the hall. You make me feel 11 feet tall. My warm white socks. Good evening, Cleveland Jr. Hello? Son, 
I have some good news and some bad news. Well, can I have the good news first? The good news is that I bought you a handsome new funeral suit. What? Bad news. Junior, your mother, Loretta, is dead. The funeral is Friday. Watch out for this boy, Lord. Oh, I see. Well, that, that's very sad news. If you want to cry, it's okay. Don't hold it in, Junior. I've been reading up on child grief and... Oh, Dr. Gensler's book? Uh, I'm not sure. Because Dr. Gensler said that it's possible to grieve for a loss before an actual death. I've already mourned the loss of my mother and that broken family. And now I have a new family that would love and support me in a way that, unfortunately, my biological mother never could. I still don't know if you're smart or stupid. So you're okay? Well, I'm sad that Mom was never able to find what she was looking for in her life, Daddy. But, yeah, I'm okay. Okay, Junior. But we're here if you need us. That boy is a ticking bomb. Say, you up for a nooner? No. What time is it? 1.30. You up for a 1.30? No! See you at 2 o'clock. <laughs> mm, poor Junior. Keeping it all in. You watch. In 20 minutes, we'll be picking up the pieces. And he's a big boy, so they're gonna be a lot of pieces. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's inappropriate. Loretta Brown was a woman I did not know. But according to Wikipedia, a woman by that name won a Grammy in 1989 for Best Spoken Word Album. Another woman by that name, or possibly her as well, served in the Australian Parliament between 1958 and 1964. Citation some body of Loretta Marie Callender Brown to the earth. <clears throat> Stay strong, Junior. <clears throat> <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> it's too soon! Why, God? Why? <laughs> I'll miss you both. All right, close it up. Who's up for barbecue? Do you still love her, Cleveland? No. No, baby, I love you. Having an emotional breakdown on your ex-wife's casket is a strange way to show it. I'm sure I'll have the same reaction on your casket in front of my third wife. Cleveland, that was the woman you always complained about. The woman who cheated on you, who slept with your friends. Well, one friend. No, there were more. Peter Griffin told me at our wedding. Mayor West, Ollie Williams, Frank Sinatra Jr., the greased-up deaf man. Guy. The point is, Cleveland, she wasn't good to you. I know. I have no idea what happened at the funeral. I don't know why I lost control or... Oh, why I'm still upset about it. <laughs> well, you better f*** it out, Cleveland, before you lose another wife. I would slam the door, but the children are sleeping. I'll act as if you did. Thanks. You don't have to be so damn dramatic. Don't worry, Cleveland. She ain't leaving. She broke. Hot tea, how classy. Do you take it with one dong or two? No, it's, it's too hot for dongs. Just honey. Let's go for the, the karaoke vocal chords. And maybe you and Donna should just give up now, eh? <laughs> Whatever, Tim. No, no, no. no I'm, I'm just I'm giving you friendly trash talk. Okay, then, now you say something rude about me or, or how fat my mama is. Look, Tim, Donna's not even speaking to me, much less singing with me, so you got nothing to worry about. Wrong. Dead wrong. Mrs. Hot Brown singing with me. Say what? Said she wanted to piss you off by showing she'd be happier singing with the most pathetic piece of human garbage she could find. Her words. Ah, uh, I've got one wife that's dead and one wife that hates me. Just like O.J. Simpson. He's hurting bad. Why else would a black guy talk that way about O.J. Simpson? <laughs> yes, and what kind of friends would we be if we didn't help him? Normal American male friends? Let's book while he's still in the john. Why did I cry at your funeral? You did me so wrong. I moved on. So why am I upset? No, 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 no! Wait, that's it! Pew! Ow! Hey, I'm trying to mourn over here. Oh, it's a cookie. Thank you. 
because you you mean the world to me oh i know i know i found, I found in you my endless love i am not gonna go out there and sing on top of spaghetti well how about yes we have no banana trying to wait there's something i gotta tell you what cleveland i figured out why i cried at loretta's funeral survivor's guilt survivor's guilt what does that mean cleveland it means I fell out of that bathtub more times than could possibly be funny, and never a scratch. She falls out once, breaks her neck, and gets quagmired. It could have been me. You cried at your ex-wife's funeral because of survivors? You cry if Robert died. Hush your mouth! You still want to sleep with him, don't you? I'd like to be asked, so I can tell him no. It's not how it seemed when you first said you'd like to be asked. Survivor's guilt. No looking back. No looking back. Oh my god. We do have more olives. Love. Love will keep us together. Think of me, babe, whenever. Where's the farting? Any ass can sing. We want the singing ass. Better give them what they want, baby. You. Oh, my soulmate. <laughs> you see, Ariana, I told you you should have let me take a uh, poop on the stage. Team, that can't be your answer to everything. I love you, Cleveland. I love you too, Loretta. See you tomorrow, Rollo. Looking good, Rollo. Nice ass. So, Rollo, who are you going to be rubbing up on at the school carnival? Fool, please. I'm too cool for preschool. I need a real woman. There ain't a girl in our class with more than an A cup. Heck, there ain't a girl in our class with more than a sippy cup. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? I was practicing what I'd do if I was on fire. I. <sighs> Rallo, I was robbed today at school. A girl stole my heart. Her name is Chanel. Did you make your move? She's out of my league. So instead of making a move, I'm going to stuff my feelings down deep so they can come out in interesting and surprising ways years later. Hey, too cool for preschool. How about getting him hooked up with that girl he's all loco in the cocoa about? Bring it on. How hot can she be anyway? Probably somewhere between a young B. Arthur and a present-day B. Arthur. God, I'll get you for that, Rollo. <laughs> You're late. We're the cable guys. We're always late. Ha ha ha. That's not true. We try. Hey, everyone. The cable guys. Take it off. Woo! Come again. Come on. Woo! Man, they think we're strippers. Good thing I'm wearing my breakaway pants. <laughs> ah, that shirt is the property of Waterman Cable. Come on, man, loosen up. <laughs> I guess there's no harm in showing a little helmet. Here it is. Look, it's the Redskins. <laughs> Take your pants off. Oh. Four hundred and thirty-five dollars. Turry, do you realize if we did four bachelorette parties a day, we'd be clearing more than four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year? And if we spend it all at Bed Bath & Beyond, saving 20% from the gross, that's like $562,500. Sheets, 
Candles, bath mats, small appliances. We'll be swimming in them. Oh, Turin, we have got to make this happen. Yeah, a couple of those chicks did ask for our number. As long as your wife is cool with it. Donna, you're right. This is a... Wait, I'll make up a lie. But what if she finds out I'm lying? I'll just tell her I wasn't lying. Ha <laughs> ha! Today is your lucky day, Cleveland Jr. Yay! Why? I've decided to help you on your quest for love, so I'm gonna give you some of Rollo's rules. First, you gotta stand out. Decorate your body to attract a mate. Here. Wow! It only hurt for a second! Second, find a way to initiate physical contact. Here's one of my classics. Hey, little lady, what if I told you that you could draw a turkey using nothing but your hand? <laughs> I've never been turkey fingered before. Third, smile. Think of something that makes you happy. What are you thinking about? Anderson Cooper with curly hair. <laughs> All right, don't say out loud what you're thinking. As I walked out on the streets of Lorraine. Oh, hey, there's our cable truck. All right, my jam. You really are a stripper. A stripper of a friend's truck. All right, now put this in your ear and I'm gonna feed you lines. Hasn't this bit been done to death? Yeah, you're right. You got this, go make me proud. All right, now show it a tattoo. Talk to me. She said yes. She's coming over to the house to study geometry with me tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha, there he goes. Look what Big Round Brown did. Here she comes. See you tomorrow, Cleveland Jr. She will be mine. Hey, man, what's going on? I'm confronting you about betraying me. My friends think I'm strong enough to do this, and I believe them. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Cleveland. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, but the women who called specifically requested that you not come. What? You must have misinterpreted them. They said, please do not bring the portly black gentleman. One woman was protelled. Hey, wait, 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 Cleveland, you can be my manager. Book gigs, hail the money. I mean, you're decent with numbers, and, and I don't know any Jewish people. Tell you what, I get 20%, and it's a deal. Hell, you can have 30%. Wow, you really don't know any Jewish people, do you? Oh, this is so hard. I don't know how to find a secant of a triangle. Well, then hold on a secant. <laughs> 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 Chanel Williams chopping it up on my step in it, bro? I think you mean step bristle. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a gas leak! <laughs> Leave the batteries in your carbon monoxide detector from now on. When your wife says she'll use it in front of you, you find some batteries. <laughs> Yo, check it. Big Fed's about to bless y'all with two VIP passes to the release party for my new CD, Fireman Killer. But aren't firemen heroes? <laughs> to who? Wasting water, blasting they sirens, riding around with them Dalmatian-ass dogs. Blah! Trying to find his way like everybody else. You're sweet. Well, what do we have here? I didn't know we had a guest much less such a beautiful young lady. What are you guys working on, math? Oh, a number six. Yeah, I know how to make one of those. In fact, Chanel, I even know how to draw a turkey using nothing but your lovely hand. We could do it in my room. You are just too cute. Huh? Does somebody want an airplane ride? Whoosh! Whoosh. Put me Whoosh. down. Put me down. Whoosh. Whee! Put me. Here we go. Whee! Oh, 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 I'm a plane. Wait a minute. Yes, Put me down. Oh. 
Sorry he's so cranky. He was till 7.15 last night. Oh, thanks. Anybody else want to take a shot? Rallo, are you bothering the big kids? Come here. I need to give you your diarrhea medicine. <laughs> <laughs> you are in for a world of hurt, Buffalo butt. What did you call me? No, not you, mama. Hey, Junior. Glad to hear that first date went well. Now I want to give you Rallo's rules for a second date. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! Okay, listen up. Always be on your phone. It makes you look important. Talking, texting, doesn't matter. But what if she has something she wants to talk to me about? Then you let out a long... And if there's a problem, you try to solve it immediately. Don't even wait to hear the whole problem. And then look back at your phone, point to it, and say, Ha ha, this guy's hilarious. Be on your phone, never listen, this guy's hilarious. Thanks, Rollo. You're welcome. <laughs> Rollo, it's time to take a pee-pee. I wish so much I didn't have to take a pee-pee right now. <laughs> Come on out of there, lost hair. I'm gonna scratch a little hole in my skin so you can find your way out. Stretch on out instead of being all curled and bunched. Hey, what took you so long? We're gonna be late for your next gig. Hey, that's $200 here. Big tippers, huh? Nah, no tips. Just, you know, 100 for the stripping and 100 for the sex. What now? It turns out that they kind of expect the deluxe package, if you know what I mean. Wait. I'm organizing and scheduling sexual acts and then collecting a portion of the profits? Yep. Turi, that makes you a prostitute. And it makes me a pimp. Ha <laughs> I'm a pimp. Oh, I'm going to go buy a pimp hat and a pimp suit, some pimp shoes, maybe a pimp scarf. Pimp socks? No one's going to see my damn socks, you slut. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha money trick. Okay, that one hurt a little. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited to be a pimp! Haha, <laughs> this is gonna be good, fellas. One sec, Chanel. I'm just reading a text from my dad. This guy's hilarious. Ha <laughs> ha, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna write him back because I'm very important to him. Nah, but I love my dad. Aw, that's cute. I didn't tell him to say that. <laughs> Chanel. Kenny. Kenny West. Who's that? Stu Band's most famous rapper. You know that if you read my blog, Out and About with Julius. Who are you? Her boyfriend. You know that if you read Out and About with Julius. Not exactly. We broke up. I gotta get to a phone. Chanel, what are you doing with this water balloon? This is Cleveland Jr. He's sweet and thoughtful, and he doesn't make me wait around all day while he's off buying sunglasses with his posse. Cleveland Jr.? There ain't nothing Junior about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Crash and burn, Junior. This worked out even better than I planned. Who is this Chia Dwarf? What'd you just call me? You get that tattoo from a Cracker Jack box? Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, little man, how the hell do you... You're like a Questlove bobblehead. Come on, Chanel, we need to talk. Sorry, Junior. Chanel, wait! Sometimes I even kiss my dad on the lips! <laughs> Man, Kenny West made us both look like punks. Oh, well, I guess we need to pray for the courage to accept the things we cannot change. Man, shut up. We got to get revenge. And we are going to get you that girl back at Federline's party tonight. Yeah! I'm just going to...
here, especially talking to my girl like that. I should mess you up right now. But instead, I'm going to take you down with my lyrics. Fetistein, lay down a beat. It's Kenny sipping Henny rhymes slicker than Teflon. It's stool been high, I'm the black Zac Efron. And when I meet a shorty, you know we're going backwards. Pulling more tail than my man John Edwards. Lumpy, chunky, booger eating chumpy. Acting at a place like Hootie singing country. Leave my girl alone and get your own tenderoni. Come on, who are we kidding? You're used to being lonely. I need to say something here. Hey, hello? Can you hear me? Hey, someone should have told you not to f with me. You think you can rhyme, man? Your flow is amateur. I'm a nerd. I can smoke you in iambic pentameter. Mess with me? Homeboy, don't want to risk it. I burn you like Mrs. Friedman's god off a brisket. Well, that was uncalled for. Yeah, how you like me now, bitch? Fall back, big boy, cause you're stepping to the best. Kenny West, test, test, test. Yo, is this thing on? Crotch your rock, Hitchcock. Yeah, I just dissed you in Klingon. Look at that parata, yeah, I speak Klingon too. So kiss my chocolate Gunter and also hug you. <laughs> your flow is faded and dated, deflated and constipated. If I had to rate it, hate it. Translated, you ate it. Hey, Kismo, you've been graded. Chewed up, swallowed, and defecated. Ha, to have stated, on the DVD, this won't be pixelated. He got him. That's my brother. All right, all right. I know you think it's so hot. Question is, can you sing like a robot? Yes, I can sing like a robot. Now, y'all just witnessed history in the making. Greatest combination since eggs and bacon. Kenny West and Cleveland Jr. Brown. Now let's get up and, and burn, burn this Y'all see? That's just what they want, y'all. <laughs> Dad, girl, my whole world is upside down. They are heroes. Not like those Coast Guard punks with their tugging ass boats. You got another CD in you, boo. Mm -hmm. What do you know? It works. Hey, Junior. Man, I'm sorry I laid into you so hard. It was just kind of tough seeing you with my baby mama. Baby mama? Yes. Kenny and I have a child together. Meet Candace. Ooh, wow! You two are a mommy and daddy? Kenny, don't tell me my new friend slash hype man is a deadbeat dad. Nah, I ain't no deadbeat dad. I'm taking Candace to school. I'm putting her to bed at night. I'm running around town trying to sell bone density machines. Do you know how hard it is to sell a bone density machine in this economy? How hard is it? It's hard. Oh, I thought you were trying to set up a joke. The point is, this child needs a family. Someday he might even make it as the self-described voice of his generation. Thanks, man. Hey, I want you to have something. Nah, they look good on you. What if I told you that you could draw a turkey with nothing but your hand? Whoop, here I is. That's gonna be my new catchphrase for season two. <laughs> Mine's gonna be Teddy Bear Picnic. You know what? Forget it. Catchphrases are stupid. Party over here. Boys, I... Boys, I need... Boys, I need you to go pack your things. You'll be spending the night at Robert's apartment. Dad's place? All right. I bet he takes me to the outdoor mall so I can drum on buckets for change. Now that's funky. Dad, are we being sent to Robert's to scare us straight? No, I paid Robert to watch you so Donna and I can have the place to ourselves. It's our first anniversary, and I've planned a big romantic dinner, which could very well lead to slow dancing, the recitation of love poetry, and other things that are too taboo to be discussed. <laughs> if I were Bernie Mac, I'd be sitting in a chair right now telling America how stupid you are. Miss you, Bernie. 
Hey, Roberta, are you staying at your deadbeat dad's too? Please, if I wanted to breathe toxic mold and get flea bites, I'd date Zach Galifianakis. It's gonna happen, one way or the other. <laughs> Roberta's saying it because I uh, told uh, her to get lost. <laughs> oh, but it's gonna work out great. Donna's gonna be so surprised. You're fat. You know what else is fat? Rudeness. <laughs> Hey, you kids like games, right? Well, I got a fun one for you. It's called Open the Box, Take Out the DVD Player, Put a Brick Where It Was, and then Tape It Back Up. And then we can build a wall out of the DVD players! <laughs> Yay! Oh, no. They found me! Quick, man, move! Out the back window! Man, we're three stories up. It's okay. The dumpster will break our fall. But I'm scared, Daddy! I'm not your daddy, fool. Let's split. Here I go! To infinity and beyond! Guess it's my turn. Ah! <laughs> Anthony. Uh, let's see, I'll sit here, and I guess the most natural thing would be for Donna to sit next to me, also facing in that direction. You can come in now, Donna. <laughs> All this, and you're gonna clean it all up by yourself after work on making those legs wobbly. <laughs> Look at me, I'm totally nude. <laughs> Looks like I've got some catching up to do behind this pillar we've always had. <laughs> Eek! Robert, there's some bad stuff going down, real bad. These people don't mess around. I'm gonna have to lay low here for a couple of days. No, absolutely not. It's our first anniversary. The paper anniversary. I was gonna give her an index card on which I'd written, I'd murray you all over again. Wait a minute. There's no reason I still can't give it to you. Here you go. Aww. Aww. You got a good one, girl. Bah. Ah, please don't let my daddy get killed, Cleveland. You can't be my only male role model. I I'll grow up to be an overweight gay loser. <laughs> That's crazy talk, sugar. <laughs> Cleveland, he's in a lot of trouble. We don't have a choice. <laughs> hey, look like C. Brown just got C. Blocked. <laughs> Time to get strapped, doughboy. boy. Pardon me? Get your gun ready. I don't have a gun. I used to live here. We got guns everywhere. Flip the couch. <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. And we're clear. Okay, where's the guy who said I was fat? Right here. And apparently the props department has put real bullets in our guns. Sorry about that. <laughs> the Cleveland Show Live will be right back. Robert and Rollo, places for act two. Robert and Rollo. <laughs> Someone's coming. Get ready. Honey, I'm... Now! My tibia! Ah, there's a sack on my head. Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! I think it's Cleveland. Or well, someone who sounds like Cleveland's in here to fool us. No, it's me! My fibulas! <laughs> Donna, that man is... <laughs> <laughs> sure is windy in here. Donna, that man is a nuisance and a menace, and he's putting our family in danger. He has to go. The only Robert I want to see around here is Julia Roberts. Yeah! Look, Cleveland, another safe place. He's staying with us. Oh, but I was going to do a makeup anniversary dinner tonight. I got filet mignon. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, I guess I'll have to save that filet for later. Ooh! I mean, yay! Man, Cleveland, you skipped fun drunk and sad drunk and went straight to angry drunk. You'd be angry, too, if your wife's ex-husband was sleeping on your couch. <laughs> House guest, Sinbad. Uh, House bad! 
thank you. I just wish I could find somewhere else for Robert to go. That guy living in my house is more out of place than I would be as an aristocratic woman in 18th century France. Coming through. Keep it clear, please. Uh, warning, don't go in the toilet. After eating all those heavy French pastries, I've turned the bidet into a bidon't. So yeah, Robert doesn't belong in my house. Look, Cleveland, Robert has come to you in his time of need, and you have to be a good Christian and, and, and help him. I know it's hard, but uh, you, you, you gotta just uh, suck it off. Fine. If you're such a- Me? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's not uh, really a good time uh, for us, you know. A couple of periods ago, Ariana went crazy and tore up the mattress in the guest room. Hi, Jesus. It's me, Cleveland. I know I haven't talked to you since Donna's pregnancy scare, but I need to tell you a little something about my friend Tim, who I thought was a good Christian. Oh, come on! Don't bust me to Jesus! Well... <sighs> All right, I guess I, I should pop what I preach. <laughs> If you're going to be hiding out with us, you must put on a shirt. Nobody wants to see your pumped up muscles and prison scars. What's wrong? You getting turned on? You can't handle it? Oh, please. I wouldn't handle it wearing the thickest of my gardening gloves. And put that out. This is a smoke-free household. Lady, you sure got a lot of rules. <laughs> Girl yourself, bear bitch. Call me a bitch again. Brisk. Whoa, whose funeral are you all dressed up for? Please say my dentist. <laughs> that was an ad lib. I should be getting paid to write this show too. I'm dressed up because your mother and I are finally having our anniversary dinner. Here, go see a movie. Nothing with boobs. Ah. And nothing with elves. Mm. 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 This place is dark, romantic, and smells like fondue. Just like my man. Happy anniversary. Roberta! What a surprise to see you here at this particular time. And not entering through the door, but through this fourth wall of our house. Well, I thought I'd stop by because apparently I've been over at Tassie's for three days now. Uh, <clears throat> you have? Yeah, but I guess somebody didn't think of that when he cut my story out of the show. Remember? Roberta takes the debate team to regionals? Yeah, that was a laugh riot. Set your VCR. Nobody uses VCRs anymore, fool! How do you play tapes? <clears throat> I wonder who's at the door right now. Oh, it's Tim. Tim, what are you doing here? Ariana, Robert, I, I walked in on them. They were playing hide the Salmon Rushdie. What? First he did it regular style, and then he did it like an NBA guy. Washer from Circuit City. Say, Tim, how much does that Energy Star qualified washer from Circuit City tend to save you on your utility bills? As much as $200 a year. Not too shabby. Anyway, Ariana says she doesn't love me anymore. She said Robert is everything I'm not, strong and virile, and uh, he, he doesn't cry after, so, you know, yeah for Robert. Cleveland, this is your fault. You told him to tear up my wife? No, sir, I wouldn't... Don't mind me. I'm just gonna start my own after party here. You know, cause the show's over for me since my debate story got cut. Uh, <laughs> Roberta, I, I don't think you should be drinking since you're only 15. Play 15, jackass. All right. <laughs> Seems like Roberta's not feeling well, so maybe she should go to the doctor and... Maybe you should go to hell. Don't you touch okay, me. Okay, settle down. Survivor. Live episode. You know <laughs> Remember, this affects all, all of us. I'm Studio execs are watching. <laughs> you you want to be in the upcoming blow. movie, you might want to play man. ball. Go to commercial. Go to commercial. So, yes, I would like to apologize for my behavior earlier. Underage drinking is a major problem in our society. One that is in no way condoned by Fox Broadcasting Corporation or its affiliates. 
As for the thing I said, I have a logical explanation. I ate some bad shrimp and... I have not only one of them. I've never done a good act of Google. I've never got a radio one of the boy. No, I'm not going to have a good idea. I'm not going to have a good idea. I'm not going to have a good idea. I'm not going to have a Hey, hey! You guys are going to take me to the market. Why are you going to buy this? I am going to buy this. Why? Why are you going to buy this? We are going to buy this. What do you mean? I mean, we are going to buy this. 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 Hey! 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 तू सिंधा ही कर सोच करने लगा। Feel Magnolia, and I eat, pray, love being a parole officer, even when I have to miss my best friend's wedding to track down a runaway bride. I was also in the Pelican Brief. Parole officer. This whole time you've been running scared from your parole officer? Resolved, bitches! Oh, fluff me. I said resolved! It's a debate term! Camera two. Uh, so this whole time, Robert, you've Don't been- Don't you cut away from me! Judges of this debate Adjust final, left. Title IX Tighter. legislation Tighter. has given the girls of this nation confidence and self-esteem. Get off her. As former vice presidential candidate Geraldine Farage, it's a right. And that is why your story was cut. <laughs> Trying to keep me out of the show. I am the damn show. <laughs> Someone get the medic. Save America's favorite smile. There goes the Emmy. Give us some room, people. Hey, now that Ariana's here, it's your chance to win her uh, back. Cleveland, we've only got 60 seconds left. What? 58 seconds. We need to wrap it up. Damn, Roberta, wasting our time. 56 seconds. Okay, okay, here's what happens. Tim stands up to Robert, which makes Ariana see him as a man, or a bear, or whatever, and Robert realizes his parole officer just wanted to tell him to spend more time with his son, so he takes Rollo Bolin, and Cleveland Jr. goes along, too, because they have cheese fries there, which means Donna and I are finally free to have our romantic dinner. Romantic dinner, quick! Happy anniversary, Donna. You brought a lot of craziness into my life, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Clear! I love you, Cleveland. Clear! I love you, Donna. Call it. 
8.58. We did it! We really did it! We pulled it off live! Oh, All right, that's all we got. Woo! Oh, to my amazing crew, that guy up in the audience, you know it comes from a good place. I'd like to thank Fox and, of course, Seth and Julia Roberts. Sorry, the late Julia Roberts. There's one more star in heaven. 9-11 was an inside job. Good night, everybody! guys ready for the super bowl party next week i am super bowl super bowl super bowl ho ho pa 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 I got our Super Bowl party all planned out. Big screen TV here, Bratwurst launcher over there, beer bucket, puke bucket, beer bucket, puke bucket. We'll make sure to label them this time. I just hope the halftime entertainment's better than it was last year. So now that we've all agreed not to tell anyone about the spanking, let us commence the changing of the guard of the class turtle. Rollo Tubbs, please place your hand on this Amazon Kindle with the Bible loaded on it and recite the oath. I, Rollo Tubbs, do solemnly look the same going in as they do coming out. In the name of the Father, the Son... I, uh, there's no need for any of that hocus-pocus. By the power vested in me, I grant you custody of the class turtle, Turt Russell. Julius? And bring on the ladies. Ooh, they're so nurturing. I like turtles. There we go. Lined the cage with USA Today so he can poop on poop. Now so I can monitor what's going on in here. I'm Cleveland Brown Jr. Most people call me Junior, not to be confused with the mints. <laughs> Why aren't you looking at me, Turtle? Hey, I'm over here! Hey, quit tapping on the glass. Who said that? Who do you think, fool? <gasps> oh my god! You're a talking turtle! Uh, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Ain't I a stinker? I don't know. Are you a stinker? Uh, no, I am not a stinker. Gotta go. Whew. Saved it. Saved what? Ah! There's cake. There's cake. Do you remember when she perioded in her white pants? Yeah, poor thing. I know. I feel bad for her. Man, I can't believe that Tom has been here for 25 years. What, what a, a waste legacy. of a life. Thank you. Thank you all. I hope there's another 25 years ahead of me. Oh, my God, he's choking on this dried-out, lonely cake. I think it's good. Oh. oh. He's dead. I get his desk chair. I called the glass-fronted bookshelf. I want that leadership poster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with time, Waterman's gonna need to hire a new intra-regional junior associate managing assistant co-vice president of Marketing Solutions Digital Division. I was thinking about Smith for that job, but then I thought, nah. But then I thought, why not? But then until now, and now I'm thinking, yeah, but I don't know. Turi, you should do it. Just think, if you were the boss, you could promote me to being your boss, and then I could promote you, and so on, etc. Pretty soon we'd be running the place. Hell, why wouldn't Mr. Waterman give me this job? He's always offering to give me all types of jobs. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. My best friend's gonna be my new boss. Hooray! Hooray! Time's in heaven! <laughs>
doesn't have any more problems. Paradise. But with Australia, it's two armies every turn, one point of entry. You control Australia, you control the world. Even though in real life, those people are drunk and beach trash who are always on vacation. All right, enough risk. I've been talking about myself so much. Tell me something about you. Here's what you need to know about me. I'm broke. What do you need money for? I want a pool cue. Cool. My brother Rallo's been asking for one of those, too. Listen, man, if you're not a jerk, you'll put the money on my shell. Feels a little light. That's more like it. Now there's a stack of turtle homework in Rollo's backpack. Go do it. Turtle homework? Yay! Cleveland, they just delivered 10 kegs of beer for your Super Bowl party. We can't afford this. Give me a big fat raise. Cut my hours. He'll do whatever I tell him to. He will be no more than my puppet. Cleveland, you do realize that if you got that promotion, you could do all that stuff yourself and make even more money in the process. Be my own puppet, you say? Interesting. Party over here! Oh, that's nasty. Hooray! Ha ha ha! Creepy. And then I would become the first lady of Waterman Cable. Well, technically, Lydia Waterman is the first lady. Then I would be the Jill Biden of Waterman Cable. I'd be the Jill Biden of Waterman Cable. And I'd finally be able to tell all those bitches at the supermarket to suck it. We'd be untouchable. Cleveland, you have to apply for that job. You're right, Donna. I can't let anyone stand in my way. I've got to be ruthless, like Bob the Builder before his morning coffee. Sorry, I have a confession to make. I also applied for the job. I urinated in your coffee. It's time to announce which of you blue-collar dolts is about to take the name off his shirt and put it on a door. The winner of the promotion is... Tim the Bear! Yeah! Wow, Zoe! Oh, thank you, Lloyd. You know, uh, three days ago, when you told me I got this job and uh, made me promise not to tell anybody, I thought, uh, this guy is hilarious. Now, don't think of me as a 2,000-pound killing machine who now has the ability to fire you. Think of me as your friend. <laughs> so, Tim, I think I'm coming down with a little beer-itis, huh? Hey, come here. <coughs> now you've got it, too. What do you say we take the rest of the day off? Uh, that's a big negatory there, good buddy. We're gonna need to stay a little later tonight to get everyone caught up to the snuff, as it were. How late? Well, uh, I don't know, like 6.30? 6.30? <laughs> <laughs> Tim, that shook me up real bad. I'm gonna need to leave early. 6.30. Ah. Man, yesterday Tim had the nerve to ask me how many installs I've done. Excuse me? I used to come... Tell me about it. I might shoot this place up. Now you guys. You guys seem cool. <laughs> you know what? Make sure you wear red on Friday. I've always thought you were neat, Chad. A neat guy. And if you think about it, if you shoot up the office on Monday, the survivors would probably get the rest of the week off instead of just the weekend. Just my two cents. Okay, guys, that's your 15-second uh, warning to wrap up your break. I'm looking at you, Cleveland. You're supposed to be installing cable in that house, not, not, not cheese danish in your mouth. Ten seconds. Ten seconds? Oh. Ow. Oh, Donna, I didn't know you'd taken a second job as a gas station attendant. Good for you. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that poor people fill up their own cars. Ever since Timothy got his promotion, I'm a full-service gal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to buy my milk. At the gas station, where we know it's overpriced. <sighs> that could have been my life. Why did I say no to Tim after that block party? <laughs> Cleveland, Terry, can you, uh, can you come in here for a second?
I wanted the two of you all to see something. To increase the productivity, I have installed what are commonly called nanny cams in each uh, repair truck. I told you that teddy bear wasn't always there. Their cable went out. We were there on business. Uh -oh. I had the flu. <laughs> Don't remember that. We were entertaining a Japanese dignitary. <clears throat> Cleveland, you're fired. Ah, is what I should say. But because we're friends, I'm just gonna reduce your salary by, uh, let's say, uh, uh, 15%. 15%? That's my tipping money, plus an extra 10%. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, and you'll be left alone, oh baby. Telephone and tell me I'm your own. <sighs> One more time. This time backwards. <laughs> Damn, kids got chops. Cleveland, what happened? Donna, it was terrible. Tim had us work eight hours in one day with only an hour for lunch. I had to take up smoking just to take breaks, and now I'm hooked. It's like a legal high. Oh, these things are amazing. Donna, remind me to buy cigarettes for the Super Bowl party, and lots of them. Ah, my vice! <laughs> Look at you. This isn't the man I married. The man I married wouldn't let himself get pushed around while his wife has to watch a bear buy gas station milk. But Donna, what can I do? You have to get him to see that your friendship is more important than that promotion. And then he'll step down and you can steal the promotion. Hurry, Cleveland, before Ariana gets a brick pizza oven and I have to kill myself. Take me. Take me right here. And boom goes the dynamite. Knock, knock. Have a sec? I do. Nobody likes you. What? Look, I'm just saying there are some things that are more important than this promotion. Friendship, for one. Are you saying that you're not going to be friends with me? Ow. Ow. I will pay for those. Ah, bitch! Attention, everybody. Two things. Uh, first, Chad, uh, you're fired. Too creepy. I will turn your face into a toilet bowl of blood. Yeah, see, see, that's uh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, please, please leave. The second thing is that I can tell morale is pretty low because of the recent round of layoff. So uh, we are going on a mandatory work retreat all weekend long. Bus leaves in one hour. Work retreat? But we're gonna miss the Super Bowl. Cleveland, do something. Are we really gonna take this, Cleveland? Do you think there'll be cake, Cleveland? Shh, shh. Calm down, everybody. When in the course of human events, your boss starts acting all mean... Uh, hang on. You can either bend over and take it, or you can fight back. Who wants to bend over and take it? Well, I shouldn't have asked because we're gonna fight back! Because I am not about to miss my Super Bowl party! You're having a Super Bowl party? I didn't invite work people because that would ruin it. Okay. Everyone remember, we all hate Tim. We don't like his ideas. Boo! Who brought the picnic basket? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. That's, it's okay for me to say that, but that's a negative stereotype that, we, that we've been fighting for years. So uh, uh, hand me your uh, personal and team goals forms on your way out. Tim is no good. Okay, F-bomb the fat bear. Okay, F-bomb you, F-bomb you, F-bomb your mom. Oh, I guess my dad was on the bus somewhere. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, uh, now for the first team exercise. Let's build a latrine. Let's not and say we did. Jeez, Louise, when did Cleveland become such a wit? It's gonna be hard to compete with him out here. You got to do something, Tim the Bear. Maybe it would help if I think about this in my native language. <laughs> That's it. Scavenger hunt. Okay, let's have a scavenger hunt. Uh, everybody pair up. Cleveland, you're on my team. Why? 
Because I don't trust you. Or myself around his wife. Oh, why couldn't Donna have said yes to me at the block party? Got a brand new cue stick, gonna play pool. Oh my god, Turt! Where's Turt? Rello, we gotta talk. There's a few things you gotta know about Turt. One, he could talk. Two, he was a dick. And three, I put him in the- Responsibility! Oh, Mrs. Lowenstein is gonna kill me! I'm gonna throw these down the storm drain, too. They're acting all weird. So, how, how many things are on the list did you find? None. But how hard did you look? Not hard. You know, Cleveland, you, you might want to think about uh, changing your tune, dude. You're an idiot. This whole weekend's an idiot. I'm going back to camp. Give me the map. What map? I thought, I thought you had the map. Oh, my God. We're lost in the woods! Oh, oh, God! Okay! 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 It's okay! It's okay, just breathe. What are you worried about? You're a bear! I'm scared of the woods! Why do you think I bought a house, man? Ah! Dead leaves! Dirt! Oh. <laughs> Look at you. You stink in the office and you stink in the woods. You're a bum. You're not even good at being a bear. Oh, yeah? Well, you have a bad work ethic! Yeah! I went there. How dare you! I ran a Rhode Island delicatessen that Big Fat Polly went into one time. Oh, I didn't even want this stupid promotion. Ariana wanted it. Hey, you know, you want the job so bad, you be the boss. I don't want to be the boss. Donna wanted me to be the boss. Wow. I guess if it weren't for our horrible nagging wives, none of this would have happened. Huh. I guess you're right. Once again, it's... Up wives? What? Oh, God, no. I was thinking if we put our heads together, we could find our way back to camp.